We're live again. What's going on, everybody? It's Tuesday. Look at what's that. going on. Well, well, that was new. Oh man. I love it when you surprise me, Andy. I love it when you surprise me. A couple little new surprises. Who knows? Maybe I got a few more up my sleeve. Oh, Andy must have been working this week, guys. Listen to that. (laughs) (laughs) I must have actually done something this week. How about Uh, that? Well, you know, you got back from vacation. I gave you a week. Now you're cracking the whip, and you're look at you. You're producing, I think. I don't know. You said you have some special things in surprise for us, so I can't wait. Who said polygamy couldn't work? Having you and my wife, and everybody else running in my life, it's perfect. Well, I'm sure Jackie uh, enjoys hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, what's going on? It's Tuesday again. I swear it comes so quick here. I mean, and that's a good thing because we really enjoy this. We hope you enjoy it. You know, last week was a lot of fun. I mean, really a lot of fun. Yeah, last week was great. We had a good time. I think this week is going to be even better. I really do. I, I, I well. Lofty it has to hopes. be. I know, lofty hopes, but I really do. I think that it's going to be even better. We got some, some <sighs> food and drinks. We've got some good bourbon. We've got some awesome beer. We we've got all kinds of stuff planned. We have a giveaway. My That's goodness. right. We, we like the giveaway. Ready. Yeah, we're. Are we doing the uh, spinning thing again? Look, I'm. I, I gotta get that up. I got that ready for the end of the night. We're yeah. doing. Is that how we're gonna do it? I assume, That's right? Your, That's your one job is to get the spinning <laughs> wheel. So if you screw that up in this, this entire show, then we know exactly what's going on. So that's. I got plenty of time. I got plenty of time to get that ready. Anyway, uh, yeah, we have our good friend Mike Stavlos from Hellas, which, if you remember um, from, gosh, Andy has been in over a year now, right? Our seller series, which yeah. was fantastic. Yep. And then we took a break to get season two ready, and then COVID hit. Yes. <laughs> it's it's uh. It's crazy how how we were all ready to go for season two, and then that shut us right down. But you know, we have been apart for a while, so we're excited to have him on. Um, I, I can't wait. I think tonight's going to be great. He's got some cool stuff planned for you too. He's always oh cool. really. We've known Mike a long time. Yeah. Um. Hey, my cousin Mike. I have not talked to you in a while. What's up, man? Good to yeah, see you. Oh, we got um, we got family members. Mike Pitt. Nice. Yeah, that's that's cool, man. We got uh, of course and. Go ahead, Andy. Sorry. I was going to say, call your brother. Tell him to get on, too. I know. Billy Pitt, right? Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, we uh, got a few people want to say hi to Bill Brasky. What's going on? from? Cheers, Bill. From Parts Unknown? That's all right. Hey, Jimmy's here. Robot Scott's here. Monica's here. We got a bunch of the the gang is all here. We got Finish the Glass. Micah, he's here. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be a fun night. Again, we have another giveaway. We like that last week. Andy, have you sent out those gifts yet? (laughs) Yeah, they're they're en route. So you guys will be getting them very soon. Nice. Right on top of that, Rose. So don't worry. That's my, as I say to my wife all the time. Do you remember that? Weekend? It's from uh, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead when she gets yes. a job. Yes, 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 yes. No yes. matter what the question, just say right on top of that, Rose, and just right on top something. Of it. So yeah, I'm right on top of it. I like it. Uh, I like it. Melissa is here. Melissa. You. So uh, yeah, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be fun tonight. So I'm all right, yeah. So we have a giveaway that's Ooh. related to sort of what we're doing tonight. And if you saw our thumbnail, like we said. Mike's here, and we're going to be, you know, Andy, we're, we, every week we talk about what, what next week should we do, and we have some ideas every week, you know, we, we talk, we do talk about what the topic mm-hmm. is going to be, we do get, you know, input from you guys, which we love, and we knew this was two, we had two weeks planned out there, we went to comedies last week, and then this week was, for yeah. the first time, food, like, we yeah. haven't done food at all. But, and I think that the cool, so here's, here's what's going to be fun tonight, because we're, mm. we're, we, Mike is going to be fun for a lot of reasons, one, he's going to be our resident Gordon Ramsay, he's going to tell us if we <laughs> yeah. know what we're doing, or if it's terrible. Um, he's also, he's not just a professional chef, but if you want to call him a mixologist, a sommelier, uh, whatever they call the guys well, who get the beer, I mean, he knows his, his spirits, his liquor, his beer inside. Now, everything. They have, they have a cellar there with beers a mile long. and Hence we were, the cellar series. Hey, we were blown away by some of the things that we got to try, but his knowledge of any and everything uh, spirits is amazing. Here's so, a question for you, Andy. Does he know what McCormick's is? For Jimmy, <laughs> so one thing we didn't tell Mike is the loser gets a, gets a little shot of McCormick's, oh, yeah. which is flavor. It's always winning in my book from Arkansas, but whatever. It's anyway, so um, anyway, I thought uh, I thought tonight was gonna be fun. It's we gonna had be fun. A, has been. 
we had a great time doing seller series. This is just kind of like a little uh, intro for Mike to kind of wrap things up. So you kind of, for those of you who haven't checked out seller series, go back look at those. Please, videos. there's a whole on, playlist on it. On, Eight episodes. Right. But uh, we, boy, we have a good time doing. Well, that. tell everybody if they haven't seen it in the chat. Tell us, have you seen the seller series? Because let me tell you, it's it's us going into Mike's restaurant, Hella's, which is a very very popular restaurant where we live, and it has the best crab cakes in Maryland, bar none. And you know that's a cool thing. One of the episodes is crab cakes, and Mike would make the the dishes they have there at the restaurant and pair it with beer or wine or both. And it's really, really cool. It's a very, very cool. I, I get to eat food and drink beer. I love it. No, it's great. And and so we had, I think, eight series or eight uh, episodes in the in the first season. And uh, we're we're gearing up to this again yes. in the fall. So we're he's we're remodeled. Excited. It's it's oh, gonna it's be gonna, cool. It's gonna be fun. But here's a hey, look, cool Andy, real quick. Preview, yeah. Brandon from Craft Beer Pours. That is like OG right there. Brandon, what's going on? Hi. I mean, this is a guy that we go back with way, way back. Wait, like what? Probably two years or so, at least. It's our good, our good New England buddy. Hey, yes. Brandon. Cheers, buddy. Good to see hey, you, man. Our, our live stream looks a little bit different now than that first thing that we did, <laughs> <laughs> where we're chugging beers and everyone's throwing up. <laughs> um, Watermelon beer there for Trish. Anyway, yeah, good to yeah. see you, Brandon. Good to see you. All right, so uh, before we bring our special guest on, this is a little uh, little preview of, if you hadn't seen it, of things to come oh. in season two and uh, some of the spotlights from last season. Oh, green beers and leprechauns. Ah, ah. Oh, my God, Andy. Todd, you got three of those. Uh, any chance to like, make that one? Yeah. Oh, he's trying to steal me like a charm. <laughs> Perfect. Is that good? So this is this is Mike Stoplos. This is in all Welcome his glory. Suit to Lord, the gas is on. Wow, man, you really, really classed it up. Hey, really. And I've got my Def Leppard socks. Oh my God! Please don't tell me you got your Def Leppard underwear on, man. Well, as a matter of fact. Oh. No! Well, I guess we'll have to order in. <laughs> He's speechless, for one. I, I know, finally. It. Unbelievable. <laughs> we finally shut him up. <laughs> That's something to cheers to. <laughs> Oh man, is that some good times or what right there? And the fact that you had Alf in there, I know made Micah really happy. Uh, ladies, That's awesome. I can't wait. Our very dear friend from Hellas, um, Mike Stavlos. What's up, my man? What's going on? Hey guys, what's going on? It's great to see you. What's up, Mike? How are you, buddy? Did that bring back some memories or what? Yeah, we can hear you. You're fine. Yeah, man, that was great times, man. I'm really uh Really looking forward to starting back up with you guys, man. It's really great to see you. Really great to be here with you. Well, so we hope, yeah, we hope everybody's gone back. And, and I know, Micah, you saw it. Go back and watch that playlist because uh, it's it's coming out with season two. So you want to kind of get used to what we're doing here. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, it's it's definitely it's it's great. Um, one of the things though that attracted us to, to doing this is not just the, the the fact that we got to do all the the beer and the wine and the, the amazing food, but Mike, um, Mike actually had some some acting uh, before he did this, which was really helped. He's very comfortable what? on camera. He, he did, which was amazing. So we were really blessed to have him with his his acting skills. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> So, there he goes. <laughs> that's <laughs> beautiful. So I gotta say, Andy, you got robbed in your rom coms. My big fat Greek writing was number one. I have to agree with Andy. I think oh, that. Oh no! Is, I told you, man. Great Only a Greek would say that. Only a Greek would say that. No, any any movie that has my doppelganger in it is definitely number one. <laughs> there you go. There you go. People are already calling out your your actings, Mike. So it was it was fantastic. Yeah. So good, good deal. Um, but yeah, you can see much more of Mike's acting on Seller Series. So we're gonna get we're gonna start doing some more shoots in the fall. I can't, Episode I really can't two, wait. it's coming yeah. soon. I think we've got hopefully one very soon. Um, and we can't wait because we pair 
awesome cellared beer or whatever with that Mike has with his amazing dishes that change often. Mike, I mean, at Hellas, how often are you changing that that, that uh, menu? It's, it seems like a lot. Yeah, we try to keep up as much as possible right now with COVID going on. We're not doing quite as many menu changes, but uh, we'll um, once or twice a week we'll just kind of hit something new on that menu. Cool. And we've got Maryland Outdoors. Maryland Outdoors, you're local, so I know, I think he actually has been to Hellas before, so um, hopefully you can get we down there. There's all over our place. I'll tell you that. There you go. There you go. And, uh, we got Brian Miller. I just want to, and John Coppola, Mike is in the chat. So, uh, he's enjoying seeing your presence, of course. And Leprechaun TV, who was on Micah's live stream, finished the glass. So we got a lot of people in the, in the chat so far. So I love it. A lot of familiar faces. Um, now Mike, you may not know this, but every single week when we, um, when we have a topic, Brian Miller is our is our oh, fact yes. checker. He makes sure that everything we do is 100% real well, and not up. fake news. Um, yes. So that, that's that's Brian Miller, our fact checker. Hey. Excellent. Brian drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was bright. <laughs> hey, Brian. Brian. <laughs> that's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's never gonna get old for me. So yeah, so Brian will check us out and he'll let us know whether or not something is uh, right. is true or not. But tonight, I think you're the guru. You might be our Brian Miller tonight, Mike, because you're gonna let us know what dishes are good, what dishes you don't agree with, what dishes you like. Maybe that's not so summery. Maybe that's not a really good summer drink. I think it's gonna be a ton of fun. So, all right. So Andy, I think we need to all drink. I mean, we haven't even talked about beer. We're 11 minutes in this live stream. I'm that's, thirsty. That's true. So. Mike, uh, just in case you didn't know, we do a couple beer breaks uh, every single uh, episode. We'll start before our top ten with a beer break, and then I think you've got a surprise us for our second one. Ooh. But, uh, let's take our first what? beer break. Well, there you go. All right. So, Andy, why don't you tell us about our first beer of the night? What is it? Okay, so I have been raving about this for I don't know how long, but I uh, I, I love this brewery checker spot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the camera up here. These guys are fantastic. Everything I've had by them has just been amazing, and uh, th this is this is no different. The, the, what, what we're seeing here is just it's it's just good stuff. So we're gonna do two tonight. We're gonna do yes. a um, we're gonna do. Look at this. The maximum uh, fruitage, which is a blueberry hazy. And then we've got a... Todd, you'll love this. I can't wait. I know. This is a Quick. very limited release. Quick. It's a... Uh, Norwegian Hazy Norwegian Session. Hazy Session. And this has got the Norwegian yeast in it. It's a collaboration I... between Hopkins Farm Brewery up in Howard of Grace, Maryland. And I don't even know where Inverse Brewing is. If I'm I mean, not... I've never even heard of it. I, I, Mike, have you? Mike, have you heard of Inverse Brewing? No. Nope. So you've anyway. heard Checker Spot, right, Mike? No, actually, this was my first time. Oh, jeez. Well, we just, you know, man, Andy, we got to get him. We we got to well, get their beer in, in Hellas. We're we're gonna side by side them. Um, but these guys are are fantastic. They they're a bunch of these aren't just home brewers who decide to jump into it. These are all experienced professionals. They opened a brewery over by the stadium. That was not a shot at us, Todd. A lot of people do that for home brewing. <laughs> I was uh, like, hold on, I'm a home brewer. What the hell? You're a home brewer, yeah. No, you're you're you're, you're much better than the other. Than the other oh, sure, sure. Anyway, yeah, they're right by uh, M and T Bank Stadium. They're right by M and T Bank. They're they're fantastic. So uh, we're gonna try both of them. We're gonna try the Esperanza. The, What's the, first, Andy? What are we cracking first? I, I'm trying both side by side. Four oh, got side two, by uh, side. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. We'll All little, right, guys, we'll in the it. chat, we haven't asked you. And Maryland Outdoors, I do know there's a difference between outdoors in Maryland and Maryland Outdoors. Maryland Outdoors, I think, has been to Hellas. I thought he had been to Hellas before because he saw one of our live streams. And uh, we talked about Seller Series, and I thought he went down and had the crab cakes. I'm almost positive or something. He went with his wife. I thought that was him. Anyway, I could be wrong. I'm wrong often. Well, you pick your poison. Uh, which one do you want to try first, Todd? you want to try the – I got to the... pour it first. Good Lord. Anybody in the chat, let's hear what you're drinking. Is it bourbon? Is it wine? Is it whiskey? Is it um, you know beer? What are we having tonight, yeah, guys? It could be anything. Let's let's soda. Um, there's the uh, Esperanza, the, the Quick. Here's the funny thing. We were supposed to do a whole series with the people, um, Omega Yeast, who started the – we thought it was Kevic, but it's Quick Yeast. And we – 
never did it. So I can't. I love this. This is supposed to be real fruity, um, super, super like uh, fruity esters in it. They're, they're both still both really, really good. Um, well, that tastes delicious. Yeah, you know what, though? It's that finish, though, and it's, it's, it's slightly different than you would expect from a normal juicy, hazy IPA, though. You know what I mean? No, I like it. This is um. Try the try. Have you poured the blueberry yet? No, I'm getting that now. Good. You're you're just like you're dying through these things here. Oh, look at that color. Checker spot, man. This is made with 300 pounds of blueberries. What you wow. think, think about that? 300 pounds of blueberries. What is the ABV on these suckers? That's what I want to know. Um, How drunk am I going to get tonight? Is the question. You're not. You'll be fine because you're responsible. Seven percent. Oh, sure. Four point six on the on on the hazy, and hmm. then blueberry is is uh. Seven, they're not bad. I can tell you right now, I like the blueberry better. And it doesn't taste like blueberry. Well, it's hard. To, I mean, this is actually Listen. blueberries. It's not like artificial. This is actually mm -hmm. some good stuff. But yeah, the blueberry is really good. I like subtle. it's subtle. very subtle. And I like the, the hop combination. I think that I don't know what's using any of these when I'm tasting in the maximum fruitage. Although the, the Norwegian one, the Esperanza, I think has a nice distinct flavor to it it doesn't taste like what your normal hazy is because that that yeast but i mean yeah both of them really nice i mean here's an example of a really small brewery I mean, mike knows everything about beer i mean he owns a restaurant and bar brings in tons of craft beer he never even heard of them and they're probably what 15 miles from your restaurant <laughs> So yeah. there's just so many out there if you go to a raven game you can go check them out they're right across the street uh they're close um yeah uh Cousin Mike, not Mike uh, Stavos. Yeah, it's really good. I'll, if you if you're into the well, blueberry, beer, well, here it is. Really the 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 blueberry one has Calypso, Callista, and my favorite hop of all, Mosaic. So that's what I was tasting right there. I'm trying to find out the Esperanza. What's that got? That is grown. Here's the funny thing. Did you say this? It has a hundred ears of sweet corn. Yeah. And I didn't hear you say that. All, That's crazy. All the stuff from Hopkins Farm is is local. So all the the barley grown, the malt, the corn, everything they put into that. It's it's a, they're, they're really good. They experiment, but nothing is crazy over the yeah. top. This really. one has Citra, which I love as well. Azaka, Idaho Seven, and Chinook hops. But the sweet corn, that's that's crazy. I like that idea. Though. Let me take another sip of that. I got all I right. got these at Whitey's. These are really really good. Um, so yeah, I, like look where to find these. But the blue, Micah, you love it. If we have some left over, we'll send you. We'll maybe send some out to you guys. It's it's fantastic. Mm. But really 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 good stuff. What's the best liquor store? Well, the best place to get beer is Hella's Restaurant Bar and Grill, bar yeah. none. Um, uh, if true. if you can't go to it, go there, I guess. Um, where's Mike live? I guess Whitey's for us is probably the best. Yeah, yeah Whitey's is probably where I get most of my checker spot stuff. But they also do deliver if you're in Maryland. And again, we like to support local. Yeah. So these guys are fantastic. It's good local stuff. Um, All right, what's everybody drinking in the chat? I haven't seen anything yet. Um, Ojan, uh, Jimmy, what are you drinking? Mike Pitt, what are you drinking? Monica, hopefully you're drinking some of those beers I sent you. Andy, I sent Monica a package of beers. Oh, there you go. The banana bed blew up. Blew up. It blew up in transit. That's because bananas shouldn't be in beer. That's all right. Um, <laughs> anyway. Why don't, why, don't we, um, why don't we do this, Todd? Why don't you get yourself ready? Let's, oh. I think people want to see our top ten. You know, is that what it is? They don't care about do. our drinking. They're talking. They're ready to see if we know our summer foods or summer beers are top ten. Is what it they is. like to vote is what you're saying. Well, you got those emojis ready to go, and, and I might have some other non-Joe Flacco you know, material well, you, ready for tonight. You know, Who knows? We also, uh, Andy, the, dof, the the super chat thing. Uh, I got to tell you, uh, I was on Micah's chat last night. They're not loving Joe Flacco uh, elite. Just to let you know, I told him I would tell you that in the chat. So I'm just well, letting you know. What, I think we, we got to we'll, change we'll, that. We'll play the Joe, and maybe if I have something new, we'll see if anything comes across. Oh, there. is that what you're saying? Okay. Well, maybe, I'm just maybe, telling you, Micah, forward. Monica, and I think Evan from Weird Beer Reviews, and Jimmy was on there. Dear God, no. See, there you go. We had a whole conversation on his live stream about your super chat, uh, your Joe Flacco thing. Mike, you'll appreciate this. Is Joe Flacco elite? Yeah, I don't <laughs> I'm putting him on the spot. For 11 games, five, seven seasons. Uh, there, there you go. That's a good answer. Uh, he is the 10th winningest quarterback on in the playoffs in NFL history. I just want to throw that stat out there. Okay, let's get and into the top. Yeah. I, I don't know how many uh, – victories lamar has but joe's got quite a few but oh, that geez. doesn't that anyway doesn't here we go see there you go top 10 before i get all excited uh, ladies and gentlemen here's tonight's top 10 list let's go Home 
Memphis and Blunt, Montana. <laughs> No, there you go. God, I love that. Uh, uh, episode right. 22. Can you believe this? 22. 22 wow. straight weeks of top 10 lists, and it's finally getting to food. And, Mike, I don't know how we didn't have you on earlier. Dang on it. I'm glad we're having you on now, though. Look at all these people hating on Joe. No Joe tonight. I've <laughs> they seen don't want to see your super yeah, chat, Joe Flacco. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I, I, I thought there'd be more love for Joe. But I told you. You need is, well. Is, you need a new. I think it's ha- hammer. Uh, hopefully, you, maybe you'll consider uh, doing a new super chat thing. That's all I'm saying. I tried, Mike. I tried, Monica. I'm trying. No, it's fine. It's fine. I won't. I won't. I won't dwell on it anymore. You guys don't like it. You don't like it. I did just want to say. <laughs> Here we super go. Super Bowl winning quarterback. Um, Flacco look, is flaccid. Look, look at these stats. I mean, ten and four. Hi, Joe Montana. Can you beat this? It, it, it's it's amazing. This is this is fantastic. <sighs> Andy, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, order you to make a new one. <sighs> well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Guys, what but, do you think? I think if Andy actually makes a new super chat, like call to action, I think maybe we'll get more. That's <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. All right, let's get our top ten. Let's yeah. who cares about Joe Flacco? All right, so let's go over the rules here. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to give you a dish, but it's not just a summer dish that we love. We have to pair it with something. Todd and I have to say, what would we drink with this? So uh, this is where Mike's going to come in. He's going to say, all right, uh, this this is a great dish, but I would never pair it with that. And you guys will be able to vote side by side. Some of Todd and I's stuff are the same. Some of them are not. But this was a ton of fun because we really we couldn't just pick a, a, a food. We had to pick a drink that would pair well with it. We will see. What happens with Traeger Wood Pellet? Oh, so Brian Miller is certainly going to be fact-checking us here. Mike? All right, so Mike's going to be like the ultimate arbitrator, too. This is a a professional chef. He owns a restaurant and can cook his butt off. So this ought to be good. Let's give an example. So, Todd, if you you go to the first one, this is – Okay. All right. This is an example. Oh, Oh, come on. Good Lord. Good Lord. It's an example, okay? Uh-huh. So Todd might uh-huh. say, I like Skinny Girl Wine and Popcorn when I'm watching The Real Housewives of whatever <laughs> city. All right? You guys would vote. Do you like Todd's pick of uh, Skinny Girl Wine, or would you like something else? Maybe I'd pick something that's not quite Skinny Girl Wine. So um, uh, uh, that, that's kind of how that goes. Don't don't worry, Todd. I'm, uh, that was your number 11. It didn't make your top 10, it, so you're it, fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to go head to head. We're going to put the menus up. We're going to see what happens. Let's get ready to rumble! Y'all ready for this? Whoa, uh, man, Andy, you're, right. you're pulling out all the stops tonight. And that's, and that's your cue to hit the next slide, Todd. Oh, one sorry. Job, one, one job. One I job. Am, I, you, 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 you got me with that. There's my number 10. There we go. All right, so here's what – this is the, This is summer foods. So, and yeah, we're doing summer I, I don't. I, I love Mexican food, and I certainly love guacamole, but I like making my own guacamole or homemade. I don't like buying store-bought guacamole. And here's what, how I make my – Mike, here's my guacamole. This is all you need. You need perfectly riped avocados, not overripe, not under, right? They have to be perfect. And then you, you get those. You, you cut up a little bit of sweet onion, it's just a little bit, a, little, a nice red tomato. It doesn't matter really what kind, a little bit, and then salt. And that's all I put in it. I don't put any lime juice. I don't put any of that other crap in it. That's all you need for amazing guacamole. And then the perfect Baltimore way to wash down those chips and guacamole is to make an orange crush. And that's right there, all you need for an awesome happy hour. And I love that. We have that probably once a week. It's amazing. So there's my plug. There you go. Uh, Mike, what do you think about that? Do you like that dish? Yeah, not not enough. Mm. I think it's a little bland, Todd. I mean, you're mm. missing the lime. You're missing the cilantro. Nope, the nope, the nope. Guy nope. In there. Mike, the Orange. avocado shine here, the avocados, that's all you need. I'm telling you, man. The salt brings out everything else. Hey, professional chef, <laughs> listen to Todd. You, you want to be successful at your restaurant. Listen to Todd. He's going to tell you what to do. Ditch all that stuff. Serve it with a big fruity drink. 
and you'll be fine. That's how you want to be fine. Todd, way too sweet. You need something. Maybe sweet. Oh, no. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I like it. Or something like, you know, a mezcal with like a smoked mezcal with lime or something. Oh, listen to this guy. got a little bit more flavor in that. Like, I think the sweet with the guac, I don't know. No, no, yeah, it's definitely sweet. I guess I just like drinking a lot of orange crushes, and then guacamole is there, and it tastes good. So I guess I don't know. It's it's what I eat and drink on Friday nights in the summer. <laughs> anyway, all right, Andy, let's see what you have then. All right, I have guacamole. All right, all right my watermelon, two. watermelon. You have watermelon. <laughs> we're talking. We're talking the summer. All right, there is nothing that tells me that summer is here. Then that first time I get to go, and it's it's not one of the ones you get over the winter that are tiny and they don't taste right. You get a locally grown yeah, watermelon. That's true. Seedless. It has to be seedless. A, you pair that with a vodka mojito. Ooh, vodka and mojito. It's not going to overpower the mm. the watermelon. Or you could dump it in the watermelon and eat it that way, too, because watermelon will absorb all that stuff. Oh, no. So, that's good. That's a good point. That's I a good mean, point. I, to me, this is I, I this this says summer is here. It's, it, that I, I, it's the right, first well, time the weather is warm. I like it. So you guys, this is the first one to vote for. Look, I know this isn't like a, a rock song versus rock song, but if yeah. you're going for it, you know, watermelon with a vodka mojito or an orange crush and guacamole. I'm just saying, I think there's an obvious winner there, but that's okay. Mike didn't like my, he didn't like my parent. He might like I your watermelon like and vodka. I just don't like the way you make guacamole. You know, it's not like I'm making you some guacamole and I'm going to challenge you to tell me it's not good. It's not the guac, it's you, Todd. I think it's got to win. Oh, Andy's Andy's going to clip that and use that forever. I can tell you that right now. Well, I also get some votes here. Good. I also remember people were voting on the drinks too. So Todd's got this big fruity orange drink. Orange Crush. Very very simple. Vodka Mojito, which pairs really well. Uh, There you go, Monica. I see some bald heads there. Our members are showing up the bald heads. I see a couple. A few bald bald heads who apparently like guac. That's fine. Uh Uh Vodka and watermelon go great. Mint and watermelon go great. It's just a really wonderful combination there. It's a good job. Mike Mike says Andy there. I I, 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 I already am done. Sorry, Todd. It does hurt (laughs) me deep in my soul. Andy over you. That's okay. That's all right. That's, I lost the watermelon. That's not a good sign for me. I I, my, I immediately have lost the watermelon. That's not good. But we'll keep going through. There's nine more. I can redeem myself. But it, really, it's ultimately what the chat thinks. So that's what matters here. And uh, I think it's pretty split here. So I see some yeah, bald heads. Yeah, we're, we're split here. Robot Scott's going with that. Oh, that's fine. Jody from right. Bourbon Bounty's in the house. Good. We didn't see him. Uh, good to see you, buddy. All right, Todd. Right. What you got for number, for number nine? I do also. Yes. All right, number nine. I have. All right, so... Classic summer for me is chili cheese dogs, paled with some kind of like easy to drinking pale ale, not really an IPA, but something that's just easy to drink, has some flavor to it. I said heavy seas Americana. I do like that pale ale. There's other ones out there, but I love a good chili cheese dog. And I usually make them home with homemade chili and cheese and a nice, you know, um, not a good hot dog, not those crappy hot dogs you get that are in packs, but a nice, you know. Nathan's hot dog or something with a nice and, and the roll is key here too. It's got to be a nice roll. I love chili cheese dogs. I can eat tons of them. John Capola, who's in the chat, can remember this. We went on a cruise, Andy, one time to Cozumel. I think we were like 22 we, or 21. We had just graduated college and we went with our parents for our gift. And we went out drinking all day long. I was hammered. We all were hammered. And before you know dinner, the formal dinner, they had this thing. I think it was like a Johnny Rockets cafe that you could go and you can eat whatever you want and drink whatever you want, right? Because it's, it's a cruise. But I started eating these chili ch- cheese dogs, uh, chili dogs from Johnny Rockets. I think I ate like three or four of them and immediately got sick. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't eat it at the, at the dinner. John can remember this. But I still love chili cheese dogs that much that I would eat them when I'm blitz drunk. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if other people like them, but I certainly do. I can eat tons of them. So, Mike, right. do you like chili cheese? Mike's probably, as a trained chef, going to be like looking at me like you're, you're putting a hot. Oh, no, I love it. Good choice on the food. There you, you know, go. Good. To offer anything, I think I may go with a different beer, something that's okay. Kind of what's up? All to it. Maybe Ooh. like Martin. Martin always goes good with sausages. Goes good with chili. That's uh, true. Maybe a neighbor, something that's got a little bit of a medium, like kind of malt, yeah. like ready, multi body. I think maybe the American will get lost in the power and the chili and the cheese and whatnot. But that's probably true. 
See, this is where I need Mike. Mike, I'm going to have to call you up and I'm making my food then. And, See, I didn't you know, think I, about I that. I have to echo John's question. On top of Todd's choice being the choice of drunk 22-year-olds on a cruise ship yes. everywhere, yeah. uh, which I must trust that palate. Doesn't is is this a summer food to you, or is a big chili cheese dog with a beer? Is that more winter? Well, hot fall? dogs are a summer thing. I just put chili and cheese on it. Uh, I mean, just, just throwing that out there. Hey, yeah. I mean, what did John say? John says it's not a summer dog. Chili is winter to me, and my wife actually agrees. I'm just going to throw that out there. Well, my it's a hot dog. Coffee. What's a hot dog? I mean, whatever. Well, hot dogs are made of lips and. Well, I can later. also eat watermelon and guacamole. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody, be quiet. I, I don't like this list already. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's getting, he's getting, he's getting <laughs> angry. All right. So, uh, I can't see the chat. Right? So, I'm like totally blind. So, I'm so I'm trying to read the chat from. I'm sorry. So, I, all right. This is my number nine. Number Andy's number nine is a funnel cake. Okay. With the Pinot Grigio. When well, have you ever I'm, ate a funnel cake with a Pinot Grigio? You eat a funnel sure. cake on the boardwalk. Well, truth be told, Todd, I, 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 you could put anything with a Pinot Grigio. You could have bark with it. That thing is a. a if I lose to a Pinot Grigio and funnel cake, I'm going to tell you. Hey, wait a minute. The funnel cake is fantastic. You know, no I do like funnel cakes. Funnel cakes. Well, what the heck do you drink a funnel cake with? I mean, I try to think of something that wouldn't overpower the funnel cake. So. What have you ever uh, ate I a mean, funnel you're... cake with a Pinot Grigio, though? I, I did things that I actually drink with the food. You could have a funnel cake, funnel cake with like a good fruity beer. You know, and even if it's a tart beer or it's a sweet beer, you want to go with something like a fruit, like a good strawberry beer with a funnel Ooh. cake. But Pinot Grigio, it's kind of what, like grapefruity, very citrusy. You really like with that powdered sugar and grapefruit like that. I don't, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this one, Andy. See, look, Mike, all stop right, trying to impress right. Davos with your pairings. Anything seems like a last meal. I wasn't <laughs> trying to impress. Look, I'm not trying to impress a chef with a funnel cake that I get on a boardwalk. I just didn't know what the heck to pair it with. So. You could have gone right. with a frozen drink, like a strawberry. Dad. Ooh, there you go. Right. That's it. I, I hate those fruity drinks, so I just am not a big fan of it. So, I, so whatever. Yeah, uh, Andy would be the guy that. walking on the boardwalk with a Pinot Grigio and a powdered sugar funnel cake. <laughs> Jeez Louise. In a Def Leppard t-shirt, nonetheless. Yeah, what the heck? That would be confusing the heck out of people. Let's That's vote, fine. guys. We got my chili cheese you dog and a pale ale versus a funnel cake and a Pinot Grigio. I, th I think I lost it on the Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, I, I see a lot of bald I, heads. I, I'm, a, I'm Italian. That's, I'm allowed to like... How about that. like a, a ice wine or a sweet wine like mm -hmm. that? That would probably go really good with a funnel cake, too. Uh, like, uh, I just don't... Yeah, well, I, I, I probably should have called you before we started. I, <laughs> I think we both should have, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> it's only going to get worse from here on out. I think. All right, anyway. Todd, Todd's got this one. So I mean, he, right. this, he, we're getting way too many Let, bald heads for my liking. I like it. I like this. Let's stay on this. Here we go. All right, so, number eight. All right, here it's summer. I mean, you can burritos. have these at time, but I love burritos or even fajitas paired with a margarita. I kind of, to me interchangeable. Here's how I make them, Mike. On the grill with chicken or steak, you, you grill and marinate your chicken. You grill it on the steak. You let it rest, right? Then you get your peppers and onions and you saute them with some olive oil and some salt and pepper on the grill in a saucepan. You then blend them all together. You cut up your steak or chicken, blend them together, put in a bowl, and then you get all your fixings. You eat that with a margarita, and that right there is a little slice of heaven. There's nothing more American. Not well, no, that's just American. <laughs> summer, summer. There's nothing more There's summer than that. American. Not American. It's, it's not American at all. <laughs> summer than that. <laughs> you wave that patriotic flag, there, Todd. That, that is yeah. the most American. Oh, right. uh, it's Mexican. Whatever. I love it. I we eat these a lot too, man. And that's how I eat them, Mike. And. I'm sure you can do it better, but uh, uh, there's nothing well, better than margarita and burritos. Are... Todd, is it? I, I mean, they're good, but they're just filling. Well, this burrito is delicious, but it is filling. <laughs> ah, nice one, Andy. I like that. Hey, oh. There are other things in there. I like it. There you go. Oh. So, Mike, what would you say about that? Is that a good pairing? I mean, it can't go wrong, right? Margarita and burritos or fajitas? You can. Anything, you know, if you can get it at, at Chili's, then uh, it's a good parent for me, my friend. It, it works. <laughs> there you go. All right, so that's mine. Let's see what Andy has here. Ready, Andy, for your number eight? It's almost impossible to beat. This is tough. No, no, what so What's he saying? Oh, oh right, there you go. A lot of Todds are liking this. I'm telling you, yes. you're, doing, you're doing good so far. Oh, man. Grilled burgers and dogs with an IPA. Well, that, that, I got that on mine, too, but a little later yeah, on. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a couple, but all right, so... Again, think about the pairings. I mean, to me, there is nothing uh, that you want to throw on the grill first in the summer than, than 
just burgers and dogs, man. Good old fashioned burgers and dogs. And I'm not talking the stuff that you buy at the stores. I mean, you've got to make the burgers. You've got to get the ground beef. You just, and very simple. Just 80, salt, 20 too. 80, 20, 80, 20. Salt and pepper. That's it. I don't want any other seasoning on there. Mix them together. Uh, don't put onions and crap on there. Just a little bit of lettuce and tomato ketchup. Is no, not you need cheese. Me. You need some cheese. Andy. Yeah. You put some cheese on there. Definitely put some cheese on there. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and, and if I'm going to put a condiment, it's not going to be ketchup. It's not going to be mustard or mayo. It's going to be barbecue sauce. Just a little. Oh, look at you. And you put that puppy on there. Sell and it, Andy. Sell it. Sell it. That is where you, I'm going to sell it. And then dogs. Come on. What kind of dogs? I like them because they take 20 seconds. But if you're gonna if you're gonna really go dogs, I'm gonna go the old bay brats is what I really. Ooh, like that's a brat. That's not a dog. Yeah, I know, but that's what I really like to put. on. I didn't want to put two together, but I would put the old bay brats on there because they're fantastic. Yes, so, sir, they are they're fantastic. Um, I can't argue no, with that. No, no egg in the hamburger meat, Monica. Not my thing. Um, I like it as simple as possible. Yeah. And look, I think high ally is one of the greatest. Oh yeah, good uh, choice. Great, great choice. Great choice. Mike, what do you think? What say you, Mike? What say you? Burgers are my all-time favorite food, man. Nothing beats a burger. I'd have that number one on my summer food list, man. I love <laughs> there you go. So Mike's going with that. I, I can't argue. I have it on my list later on, so yes. All right. Do you like the, do you like the pairing? I do. You, uh, yeah. Hey, IPA is a good beer to have with that. I will maybe personally go with a lager or a Hellas lager or something that has kind of a little bit more mineral-like undertone to it to kind of pair with the red meat and the burger and that smoke a toasted lager i think you know something like uh um you know really it's a good time of year for a good toasted lager i think that goes great with like a frame flame grilled burger all right blue well, point toasted lager would be a great parent for a good burger there you go we do have a couple votes for uh, what is it there we go for bald it yep it's like uh, Looks like I'm getting a good chunk. Burritos, of fajitas, margarita, or burgers, dogs, and an IPA. Can't go wrong with that. So, all right. So uh, it's look. It's Bourbon Bat- Jody said, "Look, this is too low on the list." So, okay, that's that's. Yeah, I got mine higher. I got mine higher. Well, you copy Chevy's Mexican menu for the rest of the show, and you're gonna <laughs> win. <man. Just, laughs> your favorite restaurant, make it your top ten. Grab their happy hour list, and you got this. <laughs> all right, let's go to seven, Andy. Ready? All right, what you got for seven? Mike? All right, so this is my own creation. It's like a shrimp boil, Mike. Think about it. it could be you can have clam boils, you know, whatever. I do shrimp boils. It's basically a sh- shrimp bake. It should be a boil. I basically wrap these things in tin foil. You get your nice big jumbo shrimp. You get some su- some sausage, but I like the spicy as you know the uh, Cajun sausage, nice sweet corn, some potatoes, some onions. You put it in a tin foil with some butter and some some maybe even some garlic. You let that steam for like you know, 10, 15 minutes on low heat on your grill. You open that thing up, and it's a little, with Old Bay as well. Put Old Bay all over that, all over it. And it's a little slice of heaven. You pair it with a nice, nice Pilsner. I, I actually drank this with the world-famous Rural Farms plug. We have a nice video on that, by the way. Um, heavy Seas. So something like, you know, because there's a lot of, you know, spiciness in this dish. So I took something nice and crisp and clean with the Pilsner and paired it with it. I love this dish. I've had this probably three times this summer so far. I love it. Absolutely so good. Shrimp, spicy yeah, that's, sausage, that's, corn. That's a, good, that's a good pick. Now, let me ask you, though, Todd. Yes. Do you, do you cook the corn before you eat it? Mm-mm. Hey, Todd, what you think? I love corn. Mm, mm, so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. <laughs> that's How old perfect. is this corn? <laughs> <laughs> We need no other takes as absolutely. <laughs> That's a big bite. <laughs> Way to go, Andy. Yeah, thank you. He tricked me on that one. That corn was like uh, three weeks not. old. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I could not do it, man. I could uh. not do it. Anyway, so. there's my dish. Mike, what do you think of that dish? It's like a, a, like a, a think of a bake, not a boil. Yeah. I don't boil it. I bake it's it. It's good. I like it. All right, I there like you go. It. You know, but a shrimp boil is nice. I love the addition of the corn in there. I agree with you that a Pilsner is a nice beer for that because it's light and it won't overpower the, the taste of the shrimp. Nice. Good stuff. All right. All right. So there you go. There's my number seven, everybody. There's Andy's number seven. Oh, very. We're going with the seafood here. All right. So we're going, we're going seafood. All oh, right. shrimp so, versus shrimp. So you're going highbrow yeah, here with the scallops, I'm, too. I'm, I'm going, look, here's here's my thing so I can give my plug. Jeez. Uh, I am going to go grilled because I think almost everything in the summer needs to be done. Do you make this, Andy, or is this something you just dream of or you drink, you ate at Mike's restaurant? That looks no, like something no, you get at Hellas right there. You can ask my wife. She's on the stream. Yes, I do 
No, I do man. Some damage on the grill. Yeah, buddy. And look, I, I there's a scallops are my favorite. Probably my one of, if not my favorite, my second favorite seafood. All right. I I've never grilled them. scallops though. I'm scared you, of like you know overcooking. Scallops, them. Well, you have to do the scallops first because if you do the shrimp and scallops at the same yeah. time, the scallops will not cook all the way through. So you got to right. do the scallops first. Okay. But let me tell you something, man. This is fantastic, and I I am a wine snob. I'm telling you, Sav Blanc from the Marble region of New Zealand is where it's at. It is about as good of a a, uh, a, a Savion Blanc as you can get. It's not overly sweet. It's got a nice citrus note that cuts right through some of those, mm. uh, you know, spices that you put on the shrimp a little bit of the Old Bay. This is a winner. I'm going to tell you. And even though Jimmy's going to go with well, there you go, Jimmy. Jimmy. I like it. Bald heads and come on there, a shrimp what? shrimp bake or a fufu lemon shrimp scallop you know, with a Blanc. <laughs> Jimmy, had I said I paired this with McCormick's, you'd have probably well, you probably would have won. You, know you would have won. That's fine. So, but it's all right. So, but this is this is a, this is a summer dish to me. And I mean, scallops on the grill. If you have not tried them, trust me. Too high, bro, for me. Ah, uh, see, look, I'm Jody agrees with me. Look at this. I am rolling with this thing. Where's Brian oh, Miller? Is he giving it to me? There's a lot of bald heads. Jody agrees. Oh. Yeah. See, see, here we go. See, I'm getting, I'm getting some love. Hold on, though. Yeah. That's Evan. He likes weird things. That, that makes sense. So <laughs> he likes weird things. All right, it seems like a push. Whatever. That's good. Right, Mike, like a push. You, wait, Mike didn't put China. That's in. true. Mike, that's true, Mike. I, I have to say, of all the pairings so far, this is the most natural pairing. Oh, no doubt yeah. about it. That, uh, you know, your wine with that course is definitely how I would. All right, go. there you go. Okay. I don't know. This is hurting me. Like I, I, I just kind of like Andy's palate right now, Todd. You really got to. Well, that you. makes sense. You guys are Mediterranean. That makes sense. I, I, get, yeah, it. But, I get it. Know. I get it. You know, us, us, uh, in, you know, in, uh, Irishmen have to stick together. You know, no, no. Look, <laughs> just joking. I'm getting, I'm getting some love, and for you unsophisticated chaps out there, it's okay. I mean, there, oh, you, did you guys hear that? He called you unsophisticated. <laughs> did you hear that? Did you hear it? Think about that when you're voting later on. Think about that. Uh, I didn't say that. Did you I? certainly did. You certainly did. That, that come out? That's deplorable. I shouldn't have said that. That's <laughs> yeah, it's right now. You shouldn't have. <laughs> All right. So what do we have next? Next. Let's, let's get on. All right. So here, this is this. Oh. This list is about me right here. Okay. When you say summer, I'm doing the things that I I don't I don't make scallops on the grill with with shrimp. I, I put it in a tin foil with shrimp and a bunch of other things. But he, here's my thing. This is what I eat. This list is everything that I eat. There is no, you know, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a great cook. I can tell you that right now. So I'm not like a great cook. But Thrasher's French fries for me is a staple summertime. All right. I go to the beach almost the entire, you guys saw me. I was doing live streams. My parents have a place in the beach. I'm lucky enough to go there. And if you don't know what Thrasher's is, it's boardwalk fries, but they are the best French fries I have ever had. And I absolutely love them. And what you want to drink with this, if you know what a John Daly is, John Daly is basically sweet tea vodka and uh, lemonade. That's all it is. Sweet tea vodka and lemonade. I think it's the best thing, the French fries. The John Daly I just picked because it's something I drink a lot, and I've actually ate John ate these French fries with a John Daly on the boardwalk. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not going to win this because if you've not been to Ocean City, you've never had this. So it is what it is. But please tell me you guys like Thrasher's Todd, French fries. Todd, you're not reading the chat. You're going to win no. this regardless of what I say tonight because I've just ticked off the entire group. So you're, so you're, <laughs> Oh, good. I have so no you, idea. You don't have, have to worry about it. So I just, I just offended everybody. Everybody's so easily offended these days. Come on. Now. Andy I mean, was just joking. We're talking about John Daly here. This is, I mean, it's, yeah. What? It's a drink. Oh, and there goes the club in the water. So John Daly, after sending, a few balls into the water has now sent his club into Lake Michigan. Well, that's the funny part. I mean, everybody, does everybody know why it's called a John Daly? Uh, what, what's in a John Daly, by the way? I just told you. Say it again. Sweet tea vodka. Right. Right. And lemonade. Now, a Arnold Palmer is a is just sweet sweet tea and lemonade mixed together. The no, reason why they call it John Daly is because he's a drunk, right? <laughs> and he's a golfer. That's why they call it John Daly. I, I got it. All right. Okay. But anyway, the Thrasher's French fries are the star here. So if you've ever been on board, I mean, there's a pl ton of places that make really, you know, like these fries. I mean, if I try to equate what these fries are like, if you've been to a Five Guys, they're better, but they're similar to a Five Guys fries because that's, you know, our, our, our chat is from all over the country and world. But if you've had a Five Guys French fry, you know, they're really good. And 
these Thrasher's French fries are world famous to me, at least. Uh, Andy, right? You know, you're from this area. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, no, I, I do. I, I, I mean, they're okay to me. They're, I, I'm <sighs> not. I don't. I don't love fr Thrasher's fries as much as you do. And I how. I, I completely don't understand how people in Maryland dump vinegar all over it because I, I don't dump vinegar on them. I don't do that. I put salt, and that's it. Salt, and that's it. But so do. Um, it's uh, it, they're they're not bad. I want to know what Mike thinks. Mike, uh, you know, Mike, you we got, got we got we got a spiked iced tea up against uh, Boardwalk and Boardwalk. Well, fries. The main thing here is the French fries here, the Thrasher's French fries. Mike, come on. Yeah, man, you can't go wrong with Thrasher's Thank flies, you. fries, man. Maryland tradition, you. you know, we all grew up. Where's Maryland out there? You know, for those, they're just like a hand cut skin on russet potato yep. that are fried really hard and fast. And and peanut, peanut oil, oil. peanut oil is the key there. Absolutely delicious. You put some obey on them, some apple yeah. cider vinegar on that. them. Uh, okay, well, let Mike describe it. It does sound good. I'm not <laughs> <Yeah. want> <laughs> all right, sir. There, thank you, Mike. I want some of those all right, here we go. Ready? Number five, six yeah. for Andy. Number six. Oh, God, devil eggs. Deviled Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Right. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. All right, all right. Now again, my no, five-year-old no. likes deviled eggs. By the way, your five-year-old has good taste. My mom makes the best deviled eggs in the world. Every single picnic, every time we cook out, every time we go to uh, to, to swim or something, I'm like, Mom, if you're having a cookout, you got to make your deviled eggs. I don't know exactly what she does to them. I don't know what she puts in it. Uh, all I know is that whether even if you hated eggs, you would eat. I already see a bald head up, Andy. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's fine, Scott. <laughs> but <laughs> there, I'm telling you, this is really good. And let's let's not forget about what accompanies it. Okay, a good Bloody Mary is a meal in and of itself. You can have a couple deviled eggs and a, and a that is good true. Bloody Mary. That's a good, a good pairing. I'll give you that. That's a very good pairing. It's a very good yeah, pairing. I mean, let's, I mean that that's but, a meal in itself. I mean, I and you got to have a little bit of Old Bay in there. So yep. Delicious sauce. I don't know. Mike, tell me. You're up, man. What do you think? Hey, man, my wife would love you. That's her favorite right there. Bloody Ooh. Mary. Some deviled eggs. But I got to go with Todd on this one. Give me a bald and murky, man. I, uh, yeah. I, might be, I think when I think summer, I do. I think Thrasher's Fries. I think Ocean City. I think Love's Lemonade. You put a little bit of uh, of uh, sweet tea vodka. There you go. That's, there uh, you go. Does that sound good? It's perfect. We've done that a bunch of times. This year when we were... We were down the beach. We we're couldn't go down the boardwalk. I brought back a big. What's that, Andy? We're, we're getting some love for both. Uh, Ty, right. probably getting a few more here on this one, but that's. All I right. see a lot of bald heads to me. That's what I see. I see a lot of bald heads. Brian and Mike, what, <laughs> what's that? Where's Brian Miller? Where's our fact checker? I feel like I'm losing him. I have, what has he been saying? He, he said he'll pass on both of these. And he'll take two words. <laughs> he'll take oh, what? Friend. Oh no, he's with Todd. He's, you know what, Brian? That's the last time I play your intro. No, yeah. play it right now. It's great. Anyway, all right. Well, I think we're at a time where we need to have a drink. Let's let's kick out Brian Miller. <gasps> Brian drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was bright. <laughs> hey, Brian. Brian. Nice. There we go. All right, we're into the we're in the special part of the, the evening, guys. It's it's midway point. I've got a comfortable lead. I feel. I feel like I have a comfortable lead, at least in the chat. Todd, you're, you're gonna make this thing three weeks in a row, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's, that's well, you know, as Ocean Ocean's World, Jimmy, he says, really though, when you lose, Andy, it's really winning. So you know, it's all good. It's McCormick's. You can't lose with that. <laughs> so they say. <laughs> I'm not sure you have any McCormick's left. I gave you like three. This would be your third one, I guess, if you lose. I, I have McCormick's left. Don't worry. Uh, right. You gave me a lot of McCormick's. Oh, so, Derek C. I didn't see Derek's in the chat. Derek, I just saw. I'm trying to look. He's. Did you mention him? Our friend Derek C. Williams. He's here, man. Oh, Cheers, and he, buddy. And he, and he threw out some good stuff too. Let's see. Buy a choice today's barbecue, smoked sauces, wedges. To, oh dear me! I should have put some venison on. Oh, that's some actually. venison's good, right, Mike? Oh, that that's 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 fantastic. Yeah, I'll take that. So, all right. Well, uh, some people have it me four to one. Yeah, Mike has got me getting killed here. All right. Uh, that's well, that's all right. Well, we'll see. We'll I'm see. excited for this beer break, guys. Uh, and Andy, I'm going to turn it over to you and Mike because I think you guys can tee it up real nicely. Well, you know, Mike uh, and I were talking a little bit about how excited we are for the Cellar Series. And and he said that, you know, well, actually, I'll let Mike kind of kind of talk about this just a little bit. But he got us the brand new release of the the pumpkin ale, which just came out. And we've done some pumpkin-inspired beers before. 
Uh, especially our king versus king. If you remember that is our second video we did was was really good. So oh, that's uh, right. Yeah. Yes. So Mike, you want to talk to us a little bit about uh, what we're going to sip on tonight, and we can we can all pull out our pumpkin ales. Dogfish is from Delaware local brewery, but if you know craft beer, you know who Dogfish is. They are they are all over the place. They're fantastic. Mike, I'll let you. That yeah. that's your cue, oh. buddy. I'll let you take <laughs> it away. <laughs> I will not. Bring out a blast from the past. I figure since we're doing some pairings, I know this is a summer pairing, but I, you know, figure we could look forward to the fall and yeah. um, popped out some of this pumpkin nail from Dogfish Head. And uh, we actually did a beer dinner with them a couple of years back in 2018. And one of the top pairings that we had, one of the most popular pairings, um, we paired the pumpkin ale with a lamb poutine. So Ooh. it's kind of building on Todd's French fries, but just elevating it a little bit. Yes, sir. We took some uh, some delicious lamb belly. We rubbed it with the same spices that you have here in the pumpkin nail. So a pumpkin nail is a brown nail, and it has um, cinnamon. It has allspice, brown sugar, your typical pumpkin spices. So we rubbed some lamb belly with that, slow roasted it, pulled it apart, made a delicious gravy um, with the pumpkin nail and the jus from the lamb uh, belly. And then put that over some hand cut fries with a little bit of uh, pulled Greek cheese. And there you have the right. pumpkin yeah. and lamb poutine. My Lord. Heck well, yeah. That, that sounds delicious. Now, uh, Mike, it, help me remember that we reviewed this in Cellar Series, didn't we? Didn't we did we do? Or no, we did. Um, we did pumpkin from Southern Tier. That's right. That's another good one, too. You're right. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, do you remember that, what we paired with that? Do you remember back then? God, it was so long ago. I don't even remember. Ah, I, don't, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. It's a long time ago. In a lamb dish as well. All right, there you um, go. I don't know. Maybe the fat Brian, the fact checker, can go back and see. <laughs> that's right, our, Mike. Our, <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. And tell us. Brian's math is off tonight. He's got Todd four to one. So I don't think that's Brian's right. Fact checker tonight. Brian is fake news tonight. Oh, uh, Derek Williams. Fun. He he rolls with the dogfish. Their IPA is good. Yeah, they're. I love Mike. I don't know about you. I love their 75 minute IPA, the one that's oh, got yeah. ma the maple, maple syrup. Yeah. Yes, it's that's so good. good. Stuff. That's good yeah. stuff. No, right. I like this as far as pumpkin beers go because it's kind of light, it's mild, it's not overwhelming. It's a good early season pumpkin beer. Yeah. Um, that's you know, good news. The heavier ones are really good when the weather cools down some more. But uh, yeah, I think this is a great, versatile beer. Smell, smell on this. Who's in the chat? There's some local guys. Have you ever had the pumpkin? I mean, this is a very famous beer from Dogfish, and now you can get it anywhere. It's nationwide. So even Monica out there in California, um, you got Evan from Weird Beer Reviews and, and Micah down in Texas for a finish of the glass. I mean, they, you can get Dogfish hopefully down there because they're now distributed with Sam Adams, right? Yeah, they got bought out, I believe, by Sam Adams, so they have a, a much larger distribution network. The, the nose on this, Andy, is really nice. It's um, not how, bad. How and would you compare I, this to your homebrew? I was going to say, it's not as good as the infamous pour some pumpkin on me, which I think is just fantastic. That is a classic uh, brown English ale with uh, just the slightest hint of, uh, of pumpkin spices flashed at the end for just a delicious. For you? I think your, your pumpkin spice is stronger than this, I think. It is not stronger than this, I, is, think this is. Is a little, I think it's a little too clovey for me, to be honest with you. I think that, I like, I think the, yeah, that might be true. You're right. I think you have more of the you – know, that's true. If you go heavy on cloves, they will overpower beer. I think it's too clovey for me. It's taste, beautiful. I mean, right. look at that beer, though. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I love it. This is a great pumpkin beer. I'm not a huge pumpkin beer fan because, to me, a lot of pumpkin beers go way too heavy on the spices, too. Yeah. Way too heavy. And you're right, Mike. This doesn't do that. It stays true to the, the, the type of beer it is and adds – and those flavors sort of complement it really well. It's not overpowering. Um, another one I like from locally is the um, the Heavy Seas, their greater pumpkin that, that's yeah. barrel-aged. That's fantastic too. Do you get any of those on tap on, at Hellas, Mike? We do. We actually have some vintage greater pumpkin that we're going to be pouring this year. Mm. Nice. So, Maybe yeah. that could be on a uh, Cellar Series episode or something. What do you well, think? We we do have, you know, if we can um, get the October episode out, if COVID allows us to, we I have some uh, some Ooh. Southern Tier. I think it's the Rum Barrel Age Pumpkin. Oh, oh. Ready to be tapped. So I'm really looking forward to that one. So if you're in the area, and I don't know if anybody's watching this that's local. I know we had some Robot Scott and Maryland Outdoors. You got to check out uh, Hella's 
uh, social media. Their Facebook, their and their really your Facebook is where you post a lot of things. Also, your Instagram and Twitter, but your Facebook has your menus, all of your beer dinners. And I know that's been curtailed a little bit because of uh, of, of of COVID. But when you get back up and running, hopefully, Mike, you you try to do these beer dinners right every now and then, where you bring in tell help, tell some people about those beer dinners. Yeah, they're usually four to five courses. We typically bring in a brewery. We try to get somebody more than just like a regular rep, but someone that's really involved in the process of making the beers and bring them out. And um, we really work with them to get you know, not just their flagship beers, but some of their one-offs and some of their you know more hard-to-find beers with some more exotic flavors and really kind of pair them well and try to elevate them along with the cuisine. Um, we've had a lot of great success along with a big following. We do typically one or two a year when yeah. we're doing one. Yeah, see, John's saying, yeah. love those beer dinners. Yeah, we, we, we did one with Trunks, which was fantastic, out of Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, and go back and check that out. It's Trogues Beer Dinner. Go to our channel. You'll see it. It's such a fun time. John, Mike John's does, been, uh, they, Yeah, they, they, John has. They're fantastic. They're really, really yeah. good. I tell you, Todd was at one. You were at one of our first ones, a Heavy yep. Seas one. Yes. With Houston. We had Hugh Sisson in there. Amazing. We had one of the best summer pairings. Um the cannon claws, if you remember yeah. the little blue yes. crab claws, and we yes. did a, yes. uh, a new oh my cannon God. Uh, beer batter with them and flash fried them. Oh. That was a delicious. Oh, my God, Andy. It was – and, and Hugh was there. The, oh, the yeah. owner, founder of Heavy Seas was there. And, you know, he's the, he has great stories. I mean, he is – I mean, Mike came out, talked about the beer, and, you know, Hugh was the best. He really talked about the brewery and the beer and how it can it – was, it was one of the best – event i i don't know if john was there or not but i know i was there with my in-laws and it was such a good time so if you're local uh, mike i can't wait for you to get one back up we'll certainly push it out and, and go again i'm not sure we'll videotape i think we have to just sit there and eat andy because last time we were working a little bit i don't think we can uh do no, both we, were, we, we were back in the kitchen and we were yeah. doing you know we were we were all over the place <laughs> i want to eat and drink <laughs> yeah, next time we're not we're not doing that i mean we yeah. actually Funniest part about that intro when you saw the tell me you're not wearing your your Def Leppard underwear when we were doing the little shoot that we did, we did that after the dinner. We actually shot the intro after we the dinner was complete because yes. we're like we don't have an intro for the video, so we gathered yeah. together real quick. And I mean, it's just that's that's the fun of trying to do these things. But uh, I tell you, these beer dinners are great. Uh, again, we're supporting local. And speaking of local, so here's the fun tonight. We've got a yes. bunch of people on right now, which is awesome. I'd yes. love to see two more people come on just to get to that 30. But I'll tell you. Yeah, I know, right? Stick around with us because when we're done our top five, the last yes. ones, Mike has a very special uh, su surprise for everyone. He's going to gift us uh, or gift to you. Yes. Um, a gift card to Hellas. And not and that you may be thinking, well, I'm not around here, so that's not going to help me. But. They are going to be shipping crab cakes very soon, and and I've done oh. this before. They used to do that. You can get any. I have friends from Philly who will have their crab cakes shipped all the time. Just say, I've got to have these. They're just fantastic. He has um, he has the money to do it because he is a former. Athlete. God, that looks just like you. <laughs> that does look like him. Just, just lick the spoon one more time there, buddy. Look at those beautiful locks. Look at that. Like, hey, I'm embarrassed. Oh, I tell you, Tallulah. But the thing is, guys, <laughs> stick around. Please stick around with this. I promise you, we want to put as many people in this. And we'll, we'll it, listen, if you go back and see our video on the best crab cakes in Maryland from Seller Series, you'll see these crab cakes are legit. They, Mike, how much crab meat do you go through in a week when, you, when you're really going good here? What, what do you think? Yeah, we go up to um, <laughs> over a thousand pounds of crab meat a week. You know, That's crazy. Hundred pounds of crab meat during like our peak seasons. Oh, weird beavers, you said. I thought that was him. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Uh, that, is, that is fantastic. All right. Hey, Andy, we got 30 people on. Andy, we got 30 people on. There you go. We hit 30. Hey, 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 hey. All right. So let's go. So anyway, we got Mike from Hellas. We're going to give away a gift card right after our top 10 list. We have five more to go. So stick around. We'll put you in. The, I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to want to win this gift card because when Mike starts shipping these crab cakes again, yep. I'm telling you, when we and there is like there's a lot of good crab cakes in Maryland, right? There, Mike, you'd agree. There's a lot of good places. Mike and I, I mean, Andy and I will tell you, Mike is right there with the best crab cakes. We've ate a ton of crab cakes, and Hellas has them, man. I'm telling you. 
I'm telling you. Yeah, they're fantastic. Um, we will put in the description after this is done all their feeds so you can find mm-hmm. it. But also go back to our seller series. You'll be able to find Mike there and all the stuff. It's just absolutely wonderful. There but you go. Somebody's right. going to win tonight. And regardless of yep. whether or not Todd thinks it's going to be him, this ain't over yet. So, no. All right. I, we got, yeah, this is where you know we, you lose or win it. You know, I could put a lid in there again, Andy. Remember, and I, I totally tank my my list. Well, so, let me let me just give you a, a, a precursor, Todd. As we move on, we're going to get tighter and tighter in our pairings. So the okay. drinks are, drink's are going to become critical. Okay. In what right. the pairings are, and people are going to have to say yep or no, and we'll yep. see. So it's going to it's going to be right. fun. Here is my number five. All right. What you I got? mean. Baby back ribs. This is summertime now. I can't really cook ribs very well, but I'd love to eat them. Mike, I don't know what it is. I have I don't have a charcoal grill, so I I just can't do it. I don't have a a, a smoker. I don't even try it. I've tried it once and it was horrible. But I love baby back ribs. Pair it with a nice bourbon. I'm you know like Larson. He's like sweet. You can do any bourbon really, but to me, a nice bourbon with some some nice sweet. Now there was a big. On Micah's live stream last night, uh, Texas, or and Evan was there from Weird Beer Reviews, Texas or St. Louis, I don't care. You, you guys debate which is the better. I'm just saying baby back ribs. We live in Maryland, so we don't have any of those. But I love a good rack of ribs, pair it with a nice bourbon. I am partial to Larson. It's a nice high weeder. Boom. To me, that's that's good stuff right there, right? Well, hey, Todd, people are liking it already. I mean, Boom. That, that they're they're liking your choice. That's 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 great. Um, outdoors in Maryland, I'm surprised you use a propane. Even though I love Hank Hill and propane and propane accessories, I think charcoal. Oh, man, outdoors in Maryland, Andy, they they they. they right. Andy, just, outdoors in Maryland, basically caught. He he saw our brew day. Our members, hopefully, hey, by the way, members, hopefully you're liking some of the member only content we're throwing. I had a brew day on on Saturday. I put a nice video up there from the brew day. He said, I want to exchange. Some crabs for your homebrew, Andy. I think that's a good, good, good right there, right? We can get some crabs hey, for homebrew. We can right? do that. We can do there that. Yeah. Anyway, by all the right. Way, there's a little debate going on. We got uh, oh, Eric what's that? Mississippi versus everybody barbecuing. Uh, uh, this is uh, gonna be a hot topic right here. I think I, it's it, like KC is better. I mean, this is great. People have their own. Micah way. said that. No, Micah said Texas yep. or Southern barbecue, not KC. Micah uh, doesn't like KC. And then. Johnny's like Memphis dry rubs at Ron. Oh, Memphis, that, John, me and John, and yeah, that's another story right there. <laughs> uh, Memphis dry rub ribs. Me, me and John had a good time in Memphis. <laughs> anyway, Andy, what's your number five? Ready? I don't remember. Go ahead. Oh, kid, oh. Lord. are you kidding me? Get out of here. Get out of here with this nonsense. Come on. Are you kidding so, me? I'm going to mute Todd for a second. I'm going to mute Mike. People, I'm Italian. All right. There doesn't nothing is more Italian than a beautiful mozzarella caprese salad. You have the acidity of the tomato with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Basil may be the ultimate, ultimate uh, accompaniment to the mozzarella cheese with just a touch of salt, just a touch of pepper. And you have one of the most glorious dishes that you could ever possibly have. You want to pair that with something from the southern part of Italy, an Eglianico, and a nice, beautiful Italian red from the hills of Mount Etna, a very volcanic but high altitude uh, region in the Basilicata region, the boot, the heel of the boot in Italy. And you have yourselves something absolutely gorgeous. To all of you, I say enjoy. You're welcome, and thank you. And please vote for me. Because I get <laughs> <Good> God, <laughs> unbelievable! <laughs> and there's bald heads all over the place. There's bald heads all over the place. You can throw up some salad as your number five on yeah, the top. Thank you. Killing oh, ribs thank all day you. with bourbon. Are you killing? God, Lord, Andrew! You gotta have something before the ribs, and this is what you can have. I'm telling you, this is this is this is fantastic. Maybe Andy, ten. Maybe Andy, ten. goodbye. I, can we move on? I think it's it's very easily yeah. seen that I've won this. I think people want to get – I mean, unless I tank my last four, there's no chance that you're not drinking some McCormick's tonight. There's no I way. Three pounds looking at your salad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quote right there, Andy. It is the embody- – it's the entire menu. We'll flash them at the end. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. I can't wait. That'll but be great. I will tell you. Just, just take a look. That is delicious. Oh, that Get is- out of here. All right. Here's my number four. We're going right to it because let me tell you right now. 
Andy, talk, you know, you talked about your burgers. That's true, but you missed one key thing about a burger. Every burger has to have crispy bacon on it. Bacon cheeseburgers are, to me, the best thing out there. And you, you pair it. Now, I, I, I struggle with this, Mike. I love fruited sours. I didn't know where to put it with, with pairing of a food, so I put it here. Maybe you can help me because I think I've already got this one. <laughs> so. Yeah, like I said, burgers all day for me. I, it's hard for Andy to come back from this one. But, but yeah, you- I mean, look, I think a burger is a ver- very versatile food, and depending on the toppings on the burger, you can pair it with a lot mm. of different drinks. I was actually just having this conversation with someone the other day. Um, you know, and you're right, like bacon with a sour, I think they go really well there together. There you go. That's what I was thinking. That yes. smoke and the bacon. Do you no. like sour beers, Mike? Like those, those the fruited sours? I like a good sour. I do. I, All yeah, right, good. They're, they're delicious. Todd, do you do you uh, put real tomato ketchup on your burgers? Real tomato ketchup, Eddie? Oh, nothing but the best. <laughs> <laughs> You're the gourmet around here, Eddie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're the gourmet around here, Eddie. Uh, well done. So, any, anyway, I can't wait to see what you're. Is it going to be like a, uh, a, a white wine really, spritzer with a, uh, a oh, green fresh salad, or what is it going to be? Here it comes. It's a heavy hitter. I don't know what I put. What did I put down? Oysters on the half shell. All right. Well, a black lager. I like that. I really like that pairing, though. That's Old actually a great Nick. pairing. And, and of course, the statement is he, a brave man who ate the first oyster. But let me tell you something, man. Uh, some raw oysters done right. Mm. And you pair that with a good solid black lager, a good beer, man. I'll mm. tell you, this, a little, little lemon, some cocktail sauce, some horseradish, and dude, I'll tell you, this, this is good stuff. Uh, uh, guys, bacon cheeseburger or a oysters on the half shell? You guys choose. You know, and look, I'm so, by the time the oysters get to Mike out there, they're they're probably all they're not good anymore. So that's he's in the golf. Good. They probably have tons of oysters there. Those aren't real oysters. No. So, <laughs> hey, there we go. Mom was on the half show with Gary Williams. So, <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Uh, Tony said that. So That's hilarious. Oh, now. oh, Lone Star Beer Reviews. The seafood guy. There's so, a glass. Break, bacon cheeseburger, guys. Bacon cheeseburger with a fruited sour, like, you know, blackberry cobbler. Oh, it sounds delicious, doesn't it? Or do you want a black wig, black lager, and a... Oyster on the half shell that may make so, you throw up later. Go ahead and grab something. Well, what's going to make you throw up is that the the, the blueberry sour. No, it's certainly it may blow here. it may blow up on you in transit, but it's not going to make you throw up. I guarantee you that. All right, so I'm. I see some bald heads coming, guys. Keep those bald heads coming. You know, look, look at this. Hold on, guys. Tell me what's better, that or that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot. John said we were Todd tried oysters for the first time. We had to almost pay John. I mean Todd. Yeah, I know. I actually oysters. like oysters now, so don't. I I shouldn't say that, but. Oh, but he's gotten sophisticated now. That he watches Real Housewives and drinks his Skinny Girl. He's actually pretty. See, and he's and he's now going to try to belittle me like he did with you guys later earlier on. Don't let him do that to you. I have insulted the entire audience. <laughs> I am belittling my co-hosts. I, <laughs> I can do. <laughs> come on now, this is it's my night, Mike. Well, tell me, what do you think about this oysters on the half show? Yeah, those? Mike, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. Hey, oysters are great. Um, yeah, I do like them too. You know, as much as we love oysters in the summer, they're typically more of like a winter cold oh, weather. Oh, there you go. Um, I may have to call you on that. A lot of people, you know, I have people at the restaurant that like swear that they won't touch an oyster if it's not. You know, during a month that there's an R in it, you know, that old wives' tale. So I would have to say that um, I got to go with Todd on this. I like your pairing, though, Andy. Like, personally, I would have gone with, like, a more citrusy IPA, something that will add that citrus pop to the oyster. But, um, yeah, man, give me some burgers and some sour beer all day, man. Ooh, well, there you right. go, Andy. Okay, well, it looks like it says I gotta, you got to sweep the last three to tie it up for me. All right, this is where things are going to get interesting. Because- All right, here we go. My number three, and here we go. Uh, Andy, oh, you- oh, oh, look at that. You can't I, vote I, against I, me here, Mike, because – Am I wrong here? I mean, look at those crap, I, crap cakes. I don't know what Andy can put up against this. You might as well skip to number two right that's now. A good, that's a very good point, Mike. Let's just go. Guys, this is the, the – okay, so when you're – Mike, help people understand this. In Maryland, you, you, when you go out to California and they have a crab cake, what do you get? Oh, my God. Right? It's, yeah, like uh, that's one of the funnest things is going like all over the world and they say Maryland crab cakes, Maryland right. crab and, and, get, and what do they give you? Some slop, you know, crap, and it's it's not it's some not blue crab. Thing with like peppers yeah. in it and yes. a remoulade and yes. something like that. Like, 
No, give me some jumbo Mike, I, sauce, give me some blue crab, give me some cocktail sauce, tartar sauce. Mike, I don't want to give away your world famous recipe, but what makes a good crab cake? You know, I would say that when you look at what the modern day crab cake, it, it's got to be like a big lump crab meat, you know, mm-hmm. like the big blue crab crab meat, not the dungeon ass crab and that, mm-hmm. you know, like the West Coast crabs. It's got to be that very crab. sweet. Crab. Yeah. That's like the difference. Yeah, there's like a higher fat content. Mm-hmm. There's more flavor in the meat, and it's got to be made with Old Bay. You know, like yep. the the flavors that you get out of there should be the natural flavor of the crab and the Old Bay. There shouldn't be a whole lot of other filler. On top of that. Not, not a lot of filler, right? That's what we don't want. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And uh, Todd pandering with the whole. All right, so there we go, Andy. What is your number three? Well, oh, look at that! It's oh, a oh, look at that! It is the staple and flagship of Hellas Restaurant, the crab cake. And you know what goes good with crab cakes? Beer. I don't know, Todd. I'm kind of partial to cocktails. You know, Old Bay, horseradish, tomato. What goes better with crab? That's true. Mm. Get to the crab vivant, magnifique. Very sophisticated, coming from the guy in the Def Leppard shirt over no, here. No. Regular Def Leppard. I love that. Oh, that was good. That was so good. It took me like like ten tries to go on Google Translate to try and figure out how to speak French. But That's hilarious. There, there we go. So both of us, both of us had uh, crab cakes. Now I'm going to tell you why mine is better than Todd's. Both of them are obviously the same exact dish, but a Sicilian white wine is not going to overpower the crab cake in any way shape or form we remember about the drinks that pair with it and this will accompany the crab i will can, let todd take it from here can i, mean, I, can, like, I can i just point out something here say. um we are a beer and 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 whiskey channel and i'm not sure but i'm trying to count i think andy's had like seven or eight wines in his top 10 list um and I'm getting some love here for it too. I'm not going to lie to you. So, oh jeez, you know. give me a give me a break. White yeah. wine or a hazy IP. Now I get it. White wine, whatever. I not when I'm eating a crab cake. There's no chance I'm drinking wine with it. I'm well, sorry, John, Mike. It's just how I am. Why are you doing this when we never drink wine on the show? Todd won't let me drink wine on the show. Thank I you, love, John. I would love to review some wines. Well, if you want, you know, caprese salad and scallops and uh, this other bull crap that he's putting out there. That's what you want the channel to be. We'll go that route. But um, it's, it's caprese, Mister Sophistication. But I want to hear. I would <laughs> like kidding. to hear Mike's. Uh, yeah, Mike. On this. I get it though. I get it. What do you think? What do you think, Mike? A nice citrusy white wine, like you know, is definitely something to go good with the crab cake. You know, um, but I'll say this: a lot of times when you're trying to create, um, you know, flavor combinations, and you look at profiles, you look at ingredients that are like indigenous to an area, things that grow in the same place, that come in the same place, often pair very well together. And what I'd have to say with this is with uh, Todd's selection, he's got a local hazy IPA that he's pairing with that crab cake. Um, I would definitely say that that Oliver's hazy IPA would be my particular choice if I'm having a crab cake. Or Come on, or, let's see some bald heads. Bald Mike, heads. Mike's, Mike's, Mike's not working. I don't know why Mike's, <laughs> Mike, Mike's microphone seems to be broken. That's fine. And last time I checked, Sicily is right next to uh-huh. Baltimore. So you that's can't, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the way, I believe, Andy, this, is this a picture of Hellas Crab Cakes right there? Yeah, it is. Are, I know it is. This is the real so, deal right here. This, this is what... You know, once once Mike gets up and, and starts shipping out, which is hopefully soon, when you win this gift card, if you're not from Maryland, you could order these. I mean, I'm telling you, you're gonna want to oh, look at those. Look, look at they, they they come in dry ice. You pop them in the freezer. Yes. It, I mean, in, oh. the, in the oven. It is all crab. It is oh. not filler. I, I will tell you, we oh. live in Maryland, so we're spoiled. We have good crab oh. cakes everywhere. Yeah. yeah. By far, and we are not just saying this because we know and love Mike. The, these are the best crab cakes you will have, bar none. They're that good. No doubt about Gu- it. Guarantee right here you're on our channel. They're, they're that They're that. There's good. a reason why they sell, what, 1,000 pounds of crab meat a week. And that's and by the way, hot. By the way, Todd, I just want to point this out. If, yes. you, if you look at this here, all right? I can't. I don't know. I'm looking at what, what I'm looking at. Well, or look at the two crab cakes. Yes. You, you can cut that in half, maybe even yeah. thirds, and that's the size of most people's crab cakes. That's correct. Really- Hundred percent. It is so good. So stick around because Todd's job. Yes, please stick around. 
All right, we're almost there. In the spinning wheel. All right, here we go. My number two. Grilled, you know, fillet. F- <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Grilled petite fillet, medium, paired with a cab. Cabs. This is my only wine. I love fillet mignon. What are you laughing at? What happened? What happened? I missed something. <laughs> I'm laughing because of your little petite. <laughs> Andy put that in there. I just put a filet. You Andy put filet. That's, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> well, I didn't put. I just said a filet or a sirloin. Actually, if you want, what I grill at home because I can't afford filet mignons is sirloin. By the way, all right. So, the, uh, you, you put a little salt and pepper on it, like Andy said earlier, which is very true. You you, you do it with that. You, I might put a little butter on it at the very end just to give it a little bit more, and that's how I grill my steaks. But I love, if I can afford it, which I can't, is filet mignons with a nice cab. My wife likes that as well, and that's what we'll drink with a, with a nice steak like that. There, to me, steaks on the grill all, all summer long. That, that, that's it right there. Right, Mike? Oh, Mike, what are you, Andy, what are you showing? I can't see what you're showing. God dang it. I, I didn't do anything. Let me, let me just say this. Let me just say this. Mike, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. First of all, cat because I've been doing wine all night and getting getting crap for it. A big Cabernet Sauvignon is a winter drink. That is not a summer drink. This to me has winter written all over it. Uh, a steak and a okay. I was trying to break up. Screw the whatever. Put whatever, drink whatever you want with it. I'm just saying steaks in the grill in the summertime. All right. Oh, I don't, the, the drinks are part of it. Don't get all testy there, Todd. All this. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, it's not summer. I agree. A red wine, but whatever. A cab is a cab, and I'm thinking of a red wine with a steak. I do like red wines. That's the one no, wine I, I like. I was just saying that the the, the theme tonight is summer foods, Todd. So oh, that's, God. Uh, all right, you whatever, Andy. You're you're trying to really po- politic here. I remind you, everyone. He called you deplorables or something. Like, what did he call you? On, on a, uh, something desirables or something like that. Uneducated, something like that. I just I'm just saying. I, I said none of those things. <laughs> and a lot of people are getting upset with you, Todd. About look at this petite little flower. And- I Andy put that in. I didn't say petite. Okay. First of all, actually, the thing I had was sirloin. I had sirloin because I can't afford filet mignons. Okay. That when I eat steak, oh, I, yeah. I eat. Mike, let me ask you this: If you're going for an affordable cut of steak, what steak are you going? Affordable sirloin is what I go with. That tastes good. Yeah, I don't know, Todd. I only really eat filet, man. I don't. I don't go with the sirloin. You eat filet, but see, I can't afford filets. Ever. I have, you I also have three kids. I can't. I, Oh. I can't do. I can't I do. So many kids. Well, that's kidding. true. Well, where were you? Where were you? Fifteen years ago, huh? Somebody oh. give Todd a super chat so he can afford his three kids, and then I can oh. play you Joe Flacco. No, Andy. <laughs> Andy, you're you're guaranteeing me you have a new Joe Flacco thing or a new thing for super chat. So I'm I'm putting that to oh, you. Anyway, that I do have, but no, he does. Do you hear that? He said he had it. There you go. Anyway. I'm just saying, a steaks. I had steaks, and then he said, "What type?" And steak I said, "Well, I- steak is a fantastic choice, Todd." Uh oh. 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 Monica's the best. And what do we have? I got to see that. I can't see anything. What do you have? You have something new? Yep, just for you, Monica. Uh, I got a quarterback option with elite sauce. Elite sauce? That that's me. I'm elite. Take that back. Take it back. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Take I'm that kidding. back. I'm kidding. What you're about to see is a Channel 4 News exclusive. That was awesome. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> now that's awesome. I like that one a lot better. It looks great. <laughs> does, does, yeah. does that work a little bit better? That looks a little bit better. Thank you. Uh, oh. oh, Jimmy did it too. Jimmy. Jimmy did I'm Jimmy not doing did. this for super chat though. I, I can I, I like I like sirloins, but I do like fillets better. Jimmy did This isn't gonna get me a fillet. Thank, thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> Excellent. Giddy up. <laughs> oh, I might like that one better. <laughs> oh man, that's good, Andy. You got hey, there's Dickie's dad. All right, cheers. Hey, look, I've been working here, folks. I've been working. We well done, you. Andrew. You surprised me. I love it when that you surprise me. Awesome. I know. Still, you still you bashed me the whole night, Todd, with your All right. plates. So, By the way, it was, this Mike. One more thing. He cooks it medium. It's a little bit eh, for my medium. taste, but that's okay. Mike, how, what's the best way to cook a steak? Hey, I appreciate medium. I'm a medium rare kind of guy, but I would say no more than medium. I, yeah, I've learned to appreciate a medium steak as I've gotten older. There you go. See, there you go. All I right. Andy, number two. 
a porterhouse. Uh, so here so here's comes all right. the big right. boy. It is okay. time. Oh, bologna sandwich here right here. This is this bologna is a setup. This is a setup. This is here a complete setup. This is a complete setup because he's not eating porterhouses. I guarantee it. it it's, it's a setup. If my wife is still on, she'll tell you Set if up. there was a steak eating competition, I would go all yeah. out. And let right. me tell you. Well, so would I, but I can't afford a porterhouse. Oh, oh my good. Poor Todd can't afford a porterhouse. Todd, yes, he can. can, can I say this? What? Mike, go ahead. Can I say this, Todd? I went over to Andy's house. When was it, Andy? About a year ago, year and a half ago, I stopped in over work, and he was out back cooking porterhouses on the oh, grill. Oh, man. Well, he's making uh, too much money then. You know what? I need to start my own channel. Super Chat should go to me, not to Andy. <laughs> you didn't share the porterhouses. Oh, man. There's 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 Andy things all over the place. Dang, uh, you set me up, Cantona. Yes. Oh. He asked me for what type of steak, and that set was a big setup right there. That's what it was, a big it setup. Was, I didn't know it was going it with a porterhouse. Yeah, I like porterhouses too, but I don't ever cook them. Jeez right, Louise, right, no, setup. No, poor, poor Todd. Let me tell you something. A good porterhouse is – is it a little bit expensive? Yes. But the amount of money that you spend <laughs> on your stupid blueberry and creme brulee sours and all that nonsense – Get yourself a porterhouse. People are pouring you money, Todd, right now for your porterhouse. <laughs> oh, bleeding heart. Wait, oh, just... thank you, Monica and Jimmy. Yes. Oh. You know what? I'm taking – whenever we get a check from YouTube, I'm taking – I'm buying a porterhouse, and I'm putting it on a member-only video you just for them. You don't deserve a porterhouse. I'm going to so buy one just because of that. Disappointed you. What you're about to see is a Channel 4 News exclusive. That was Awesome. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That's very... All right. So Annie's cheating right now. By the way, the chat. Remember, he called you bad names. By the way, I just wanted to point that out. He's cheating. He's cheating. And you're pandering. And let me say this. <laughs> I. This is the best part. I told my wife. I said, I can't believe when I did my list because I don't check the list until it's done. Yeah, and our th top three were the same thing, neck and neck. So it was all about the, the drink selection, and so people will have to come up with that. And and you look like you're getting a little worried here, Tato. I'm but not worried because I think the totality of my list, because you have Caprese salad and all the bullcrap things in there that'll that'll negate this right here. I could, I wish I could put a porterhouse too. Believe me. <laughs> Well, I didn't. I, I didn't mean, think but, this is something also, that was in La La Land. But remember that I actually cooked my steak correctly too. God. Firm, but with little give. Yep, these are medium rare. What if somebody wants theirs well done? We ask them politely yet firmly to leave. <laughs> and that would be Todd. We would ask <laughs> oh, him politely, man. but firmly. I, I, I'm leave. telling you, this is a setup. This is a it's complete not, setup. Not a setup. Oh, Evan, thank you, Evan. Uh, oh. I'm mean, sorry, Micah. Finish the glass. Pour, screw the port house. Get a oh, a Tama. What? I don't even. Yes, I'll Tom take it. Or Cowboy, thank you, man. That is all. Excellent. Giddy up. And we'll we'll see Micah soon. But I, I want to say his Monday live streams are getting bigger. And bigger, so we need to check him out on Mondays at at nine thirty Eastern. So anyway, <laughs> just want to say that. Quote of the night, <laughs> Bill. Bill Murphy's Murphy's Murphy <laughs> Damn it, God damn, Bill Pitts now. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Let's get to number one, Andy. Number one. And, and here we go. This is gonna be the same thing. Here we go. It's okay. So we're talking. The, the staple, we live in Maryland. Andy, I know your number one is the same thing, so we don't have to go around it. So to me, when you're drinking crabs, you need something, or eating crabs, you need something that's going to complement it well. I don't like anything too much. So the, the hazies aren't going to work for me, and I don't know what Andy has here, but I'm saying a West Coast IPA that still sort of have that crispness and clarity. It's not juicy. It's got some resonant to it, some pineiness. Andy, what did you have? I had Union Jack with well, fire. And, and here's where we differ, and I'm going to tell you why, Todd. Because when it comes to steamed crabs, what? I don't want to taste anything but the steamed crabs. But I agree. I drink all day long. Todd, if you would please proceed. 
that is what you drink crabs with a regular stinking beer give me a mirror light give me a setup hold on wait look look at the face look at look he's the same I, whatever you you don't drink Miller Lite with your crap. This is bull crap. Right I, here. It's not bull crap. No, I do drink. No, I will. No. Just, I will drink. Call him out right here. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's lying to you, people. Someone doesn't want McCormick's. I'll. Dr- you know what? I'll drink McCormick's with you because I. I'm, whatever. Let the, let the people decide. Mike, what do you think? Mike, go ahead. Uh, Who would you rather uh, have? You are you're a sore loser. Look at all these Andy's coming. Here we go. Andy, Andy, Andy. I like it. I like it. Bull crap. I- I have to throw out a monkey wrench for you guys. I think my favorite beer to go steam crabs with is La Fin du Mont. From, oh, geez, uh, look at you. From, uh, it's a triple a style ale. I love the spiciness. I love steaming the crabs with it. Yes, yeah, Mike. Like Mike. And Summer that was one of the oh, – Mike. Art saying, he said La Fin du Mont. Jeez. You don't even know what that means, Todd. And he and – he, Andy, that was in Cellar Series. We drank I it. I know it was. I know. But you know that's come on, that's a big old beer there. That's Thank you, old. Monica, for the. I'm, I'm getting slayed on this because everybody likes Miller Lite. Whatever, you know what? Whatever, I'll drink the McCormick's. I think I still won. Let's look at the totality of this. Where's the <laughs> final are list? You, and he show you, it. Are you seeing this? He's getting all testy here. He I set me up it. here. He looked at I my did. list and said, "How can I get more people to like what I like?" Todd, I want you to remember something, okay? You mm-hmm. have one job. You put names on the spinny wheel. And that's it. I, I gotta get. I have to get. Believe me, I do way more than that. I gotta get to that. Anyway, yeah. can I stop sharing my screen so I can do that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you. All right. Here, All right. I'll you, Todd, I'll Put that do up. This, so I'll do this so you can actually get to get to work. What I would like for you all to do is take a peek. Yeah. We are at the end of the road here. So this Mike Pitt. is our list. All right. Mike Pitt. Do we have Bill Pitt here too. Is Bill Pitt here? Yep, we got Mike and Bill. Uh, All right. So you Who else? put them in. Let's see. So Here's what I have. You to do. Put your put your names in. Even if you didn't comment yet, put put something in the yes. chat. Like, I'm in. You are now participating in the wheel of goodies to get. Thank you. Yes, go ahead, Any thank you. Brian Miller, the, re, the, the our resident fact checker. I'm gonna put that up there. Todd, twelve to two. I don't have I got twelve, but I'll take it. To be t- How can you be our fact checker if if it's twelve to two? I, I, <laughs> I don't know, but it's fourteen. But I'll take I, it. I made you a custom intro. I'm 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 kind of I'm kind of done. Oh, there. Austin. Oh, okay, we got see that Austin. Austin, we right, got you. Austin right. is in. All right. Uh, my Hold dad on. is in. You can put my dad in. Dicky is in. Williams in. Hold Melissa on. You guys in. are going too quick for me. Just chill out. Oh, Austin. Mike, can you talk to us for a while? Todd's busy typing. This is his job. Who do you think won, Mike? Tell us. Yeah, Mike, look at that list. What do you think? Look, take out uh, Melissa. There she is. There. Okay, take look at that list. Uh, I say. Three C salad, four, Mike. Six to four, Todd. Yes, yes oh, Mike. On there, man. No doubt about it. Thank you, Sorry, Mike. Andy, but Todd's the winner here. Once Thank for you. once, Todd's a winner, man. Come on, man. Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, there you man. go, Mike. That's true. For once, I am a winner. You are the man of the top ten. I'll tell you there that. You hey, wait, wait. My dad voted for me, and so, Mom, you have to vote, too. This is fantastic. I will take nepotism any day of the week. Who, who, All right. John's got hey, time. Guys, here's my list so far real quick. Ogien's World, Finish the Glass, Weird Beer Reviews, Dickie's Dad, Brian Miller, Robot Scott, Monica, uh, Annie Ann, Lone Star. Is Lone Star still here? I don't know. Maybe not. Melissa Spencer, Outdoor, is Outdoors of Maryland still here? They may not uh, be. May not be. Out, yeah, Outdoors says they're in. Outdoors okay. is in. Bourbon, is Jody still here? Bourbon, Bourbon Bounty. Yep, I saw Jody. He's in. Um, Derek Williams still here. Derek, if you're still in, let's see. Mike Pitt, Bill Pitt, Austin uh, Beer Burning, Beering, uh, Melissa Spencer. What am I, I'm missing a bunch of people, I'm sure. So a- I can't. A- Annie N is in. Annie N is in. Yes, I. Uh, if, did, you, did you get uh, John? Yeah, Annie N. John C, Sally C, Lone Star Beer. Oh, no, hold on. John Capo- yeah, John Canterna. Hold on. Canterna. <laughs> Sally Canterna. Who else? I got it. Come on. Come on. There's got to be more people. There's 30 people in the show. How many people in the chat? What <laughs> am I way, Brian Miller, a vote for Todd is a vote for Basic American Backyards. Andy represents the top 2%. Thank you, know, you, Brian Miller. There you go. Todd is your typical crying politician. He says, I, I have not. no money, and everybody slaps him a little check and says, save me. That's you know, not true I, at all. Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself, Todd. 
But oh, John okay. Capola. Yes, John Capola. I need to put John in that list because he left last time. He wasn't there for the, the, the wheel of fun. Yep. Hey, is my wife still on here? Because if you win, I'm fine. That's no, you're, you're, no, I'm not putting her in there. I'm sorry, Jackie. I love you, but you can't win. That's not fair. She is a fan like everyone else. Once again, look at you making the rules. I just don't think your wife should win a gift card for our fans. Am I wrong, fans? Again, Andy called you deplorables. I don't think you should be able to tell people what to do. Uh, I That's will let you. All right. I'll put Anthony Cantor because your brother. I'll give it to Anthony. Whatever. Should I give your brother then, Anthony? Now, now. It's, oh, look. look that? I didn't ask to win, Todd. Now you've, see, now you've upset my wife. Way to go, Todd. That's nice. I, Congratulations. I, I'll put, put your, Jackie in. I would, you, I would let your wife be the running, but apparently. My wife is asleep right now. She's not watching this. Um, she'd be disappointed if she were awake. Do you want me to put your brother and Jackie in? I would do it. Chat, what do you want me to do? Do you think they want me to put your brother? What? Go ahead. People are watching. What? I said people are watching. Let them in. Okay, here we go. I got it. I'm putting Jack in. Jeez Louise. This is hard. There's a lot of people here. This is stressful. All right, what else? Who am I missing? I, I don't want to miss people. Mike Pitt, I got you. Brian Miller, I got you. Here's my list. Okay, I'm going to read the list one more time. Are we ready? Okay. Tell me if I'm yep. missing anybody. Yep. Ocean's World, Finish the yep. Glass, Weird Beer Reviews, Dickie Dad, Brian Miller, Robot Scott, Monica Tia, Moni Art, Annie Ann, Lone Star, Melissa Spencer, Outdoors in Maryland, Bourbon Bounty, Mike Pitt, Bill Pitt, Austin Beer Bearing, Borboring, whatever it is, Melissa Spencer, John Cantona, Sally Cantona, John Coppola, Anthony Cantona, Jack. There's a lot of Cantonas in this. If you win, Andy, you're in serious trouble. I'm telling you that right now. Are you ready to spin your wheel there, buddy? Your Is that enough? Do we have enough? Did I get Jody from Bourbon Bounty? I have that, right? Is there anybody Jody, I missed? Anybody else want to join? Go ahead and put your name, say you're in, and we will spin this wheel. Mike right. is going to give you a $3,000 gift card to Hellas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it'll be a gift card to Hellas. We'll, we, we'll, we'll, we'll get that out to you eventually when they can. If you're not local, whenever they can uh, start shipping, that's when we'll get it to you. How's that? No, we'll give it. To, we'll send it to you now. I want to just keep it on hand, so you'll be fine. Okay. All right. Whatever. Yep, we're, we're fine. You're the groom around here, Eddie. Are you ready to share this? Is everyone ready for it? All right. Wait. I'm gonna get my mom to comment. <laughs> just kidding. Bring her um, on board, Monica. <laughs> anybody else going once? Going twice? Did we? Hold on. Did we? Did we declare a winner yet? I guess we'll get to that. I think I'm the winner. But anyway, we'll we'll go back to that. All right. Everybody wants to see this giveaway, so we'll do that. All right, share your screen, bud. All right, give me a second. There's a lot going on here. Mike, is this fun or what? Loving it, guys. All right, here's the wheel of names. Share audio so you get the full effect. You guys see that? Yeah. Hold on. Let me me put the big screen up here. There we go. No, not you. All right. All right. Get rid of the uh, Micah's comment. All right, guys, you guys ready? Three, two, one. For the gift card, the Hellas restaurant, and there's crab cakes. <gasps> Melissa Spencer. All right. Yeah. Hey. Lovely. There you go, <laughs> Melissa. Congratulations. Congratulations. Todd is feisty as a comment. <laughs> what happened? John said Todd is feisty. Oh, <laughs> Jackie John. Said, Jackie said super feisty. <laughs> Lone beer stars, you were close. Yes, you so were. So close. Uh, Melissa, where uh, are you uh, from? I know she's she just had back surgery a couple of weeks ago, so this will be nice for her. Melissa, yeah, so that's that's good. All right, so Melissa, please uh, email us at Andy. Can you put? I'll put in if you want the, our email address. Yeah, you got it, Todd. I don't want you to do too many things, Todd. If you want me to help you with that, I can. You've been really busy tonight. Let me let me help you out. You guys hear that condescending attitude he had towards you as well? He, he's got it towards me. I don't think we like that very much, do we? All right, so all right, you all have one more thing to do. We're going to either put up a bald emoji or put up the Andy emoji, and we're going to say who won tonight. Um, you can put your votes in now to say who won overall. Mike has voted for Todd already, but go ahead and vote for either Todd or Andy to see if Todd can take his win streak. Can you put up the whole totality, and Andy? Can you do that? Uh, yeah, I can. I'll put it back up. We've had this. Go ahead. Vote for your favorite. Here it is. Oh, wait a minute. That's not it, Todd. Jeez. Sorry. Oh Sorry, man. That's, that's not it. 
Go ahead. <laughs> so that's great. All right. So hold on. Oh, they're, they're, they're coming fast and furious. Okay. I'll hide that. All right. So finish the glass, Todd. Monica, Todd. Let me see. Melissa, Andy. Thank you, Melissa. You have good taste. Uh, <laughs> you put that up there. Bird Bounty, Todd. Ocean's Todd. Oh, your dad, he liked you this time. There you go, Andy. You got some home love in there. Wait a minute. Hold on. And a tie game. Todd. Oh, Jimmy. Disappointing. All right. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, Annie and my dad. There we go. There's Todd. Todd got Dickie Dad. All right. Um, my brother already voted, voted for you, Todd. Let me see. I don't know if it's a solid. It, it, by place. the way, Ocean, it was not my. I didn't say Petit Filet Mignon. He just put it in there. I, I actually had a sirloin. So whatever. I mean, it's against a porterhouse. I, I'll take a porterhouse too if I can afford it, but I can't. So whatever. <laughs> Poor Todd. I mean, that literally and figuratively. Poor Todd. Hold on. Was this list about the food that you can afford to eat during the summer or your favorite? Yeah, summer? I thought this was our top favorite foods we eat in the summer. And Andy's putting porterhouses and and Todd, and, and, and Todd, no, Todd, in his defense, he's never had a porterhouse before. He uh, Actually, fact, I probably haven't. I don't think I ever have. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I have. I don't I think I've ever eat, ate a porterhouse. I can't see really? him having a steak with fat on it. I think he's got that little petite All right, cut. One, two... Juicy. Two to one, three to one, four to one, four to two, four to three, five to three, six to three, six to four. I'm trying to figure it. This is closer than I thought it would be. Oh, uh, really voted for me too. All right, good. Six All to right. f seven to five, seven to five so far. Andy, me. So I mean, we have more people in the chat. It's you close. People want to vote. Let's go. Let's see. Come on. Hey, look at get, get rid of the the. I hate. I love highlighting the comments, but let's. Oh, so Andy, take that away. I'm sorry, Andy. Get, get, come on. Let people see. I got it, buddy. There we go. Six four robot Scott's got another vote for Todd. All right, that's eight to five. All right, Andy, get your McCormick's out. We're good with this. Let's get on to bringing people on, having a good time. Andy oh, loses three times in a row. It's Todd again. Do you have a thing for Todd winning? In a row. Uh, I could make that, but I probably won't after your uh, behavior tonight. Probably not. <laughs> <going to. laughs> uh, uh, that's great. Disappointed. Let me see, <laughs> Brian Miller. You got to run. Another fun night. Brian, good to see you, man. Glad. glad oh, you Brian, good to see you, buddy. Thanks for hanging out with us, and uh, cheers to you, buddy. We'll see you next Tuesday, hopefully. Absolutely. And I. So, Mike, what you may not know exactly, Brian, though, is that. The loser has to take a little swig. Of I think we should. I think honestly, Jimmy should come on for this segment to tell you the truth. I might have to do an introduction for Jimmy, but anyway, Mike, if you haven't had McCormick's yet, it is flavored whiskey or vodka that is supposed to be whiskey. Um, it's delicious. Mm. And the yeah, loser... I'm familiar with rock cut whiskey. Uh, <laughs> I've seen McCormick's before. Oh, you have, and you know the, the glory of this. Mm. Good stuff. No, it's, stuff. It's, it can go really well with a petite filet. Oh, Mike, 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 so anyway. I feel real bad now. We're going to have to come up with a porterhouse pairing for one of our cellar series, man. That's right. That's right. I've never, never had one before. I've never steak before. With a marshmallow Listen. gingerbread creme brulee sour for Todd. Andy, you get McCormick's out and start drinking. You're, 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 there it is, everybody. Leopard glass. How cool is that? Like you should serve some of your stuff in this glass. That's that's how you do this. That's classy. It is classy. It is classy. It is classy. All right, I'm going to get – for the beer or for the whiskey. Yep, three, two, ones, bottoms up, people. There you go. Look at that hazelnut and everything. It tastes so good, doesn't it? Wonderful. <laughs> uh, I, I just so, posted the link, everybody. Um, so deplorable. <laughs> Oh, and my mom said, Dad said I had to vote for you tonight, Andy. That's nice. That's awesome. See, there you go. So, anyway. My parents aren't watching, evidently. 
That's because they were disappointed you had a medium steak that was a petite filet. That's probably you why. put that in there, medium. First of all, I just said steaks on the grill. You know, well, medium. I, I texted you and said what kind. You said I want a filet, and then you but said I, I want it medium. Yeah, well, I said I usually. Yeah, no, that's not what I said. I said I I eat sirloins from Costco because that's what I can afford, and I said I love f f filet mignon. You're like I put a petite filet. That's what you did. It is against you, the porterhouse. It's like look, eight, we're eight different. ounces. You're, you like something a little bit lighter. So oh, it's man. So it's, it's, it's oh, you're good. funny, dude. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, Andy, I think it's this time where we, Mike, if you don't mind, we're going to bring on some people. Guys, the link is in the chat. Come on, tell us what summer foods we missed. I know there's people out there. John Capola, if you're still there, you got to come on and say hi to Mike. And I know there's other people around here that are going to tell us what we missed because we're, we're, I'm sure we missed a lot of good stuff. Yeah, but just remember the deal. Keep it clean. Tell us what we missed. It is summer. And uh, look, the stars at night are big and bright deep in the heart of what's up. Micah from Texas. Hey, <laughs> Micah, let me tell you right now. First off, before you even start, your Monday night live streams are growing, which is nice to see. You have a great month. Guys, everybody in the chat on Mondays. 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central, 7.30 Mountain, 6.30 Pacific. Check out Finish the Glass. They have good topics, good people come on. It was fun last night, wasn't it? We had a great time. Leprechaun came on, and uh, yeah. Yeah, he's a he is a barbecue connoisseur from yes, up in uh, from up in uh, Cleveland. But he uses Texas rubs, so he was all good. Uh, so uh, we are. I am. I'm a huge fan of Texas. Drinking Texas beer, Texas hat. I'm. 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 I'm enjoying my Texas stuff, and all my foods are Texas. So. Uh, all right, what that, do we that, miss? That's, that's the thought we had. What did we? And I don't, I don't want to cut you off, but your mom is on the show too, Todd. Hey, mom, said, how are you? Thank you, mom. Uh, it for me. No. <laughs> that's right. <she> probably. <laughs> <laughs> um. So for me, like I said, most of mine are Texan foods. Okay. So, uh, much like your shrimp boil that you like to do, Todd. Yeah. We do. We do crawfish down here. Oh, we yeah. do crawfish boils. Perfect. Uh, so crawfish boil with a good lager because you like all those spices yeah, and you don't sure. want to overpower with yeah. the beer. Uh, German German culture is huge down here in Texas. We got green. Oh. We've got all Fredericksburg. We got all that. And so box and brats. Ooh. So uh, Mike shaking his head right there. Brats. Amazing. Absolutely Mike, what, amazing. Mike, what do you think about that, Mike? Mike's That's our resident. Right. Nice, nice Bach and a Brock are great together. Nice there Mai you Bach. go. There you go, Micah. Absolutely. Uh, see, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting proof from the, uh, from the, from the chef. professional chef here right here. I'm, I'm excited about this. There you go. Uh, this one is not really a summer food, but I only do it in the summer, and it's, uh, it's actually kind of a story. We go tubing on the Guadalupe River, which is a strictly Texas thing, where you're drinking beer all day, laying on the sun for six hours, uh, just floating on a river. And then you get out and you go right down the road to Fredericksburg and you stop at the uh, Friesen House, which is a traditional German restaurant. You get you a Texas Wiener Schnitzel and a Dubelbach out of a boot. And oh, oh, you're laid out, but it's good. Uh, um, hey, where's our food? That, that that's screaming Oktoberfest to me right there, my friend. That, that, yes, that, that, but that we good. do it in we do it in the middle of the summer here. Uh, hey, that's, that's the only time you can too. Isn't, uh, it always, isn't it always the middle of summer in Texas, though? So, I mean, it's you, guys, you, can, you can do that whenever. It's you're, right, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, that's that's probably why, like, my whole box and brats, that's typically a tailgating thing. But it doesn't get winter hill to, like, February. So, yeah. it's still summer. We're good. Uh, what was the <laughs> other one? Uh, brisket in an Irish red. I'm a big fan of Irish reds and having a good brisket with an Irish, with, uh, Irish red. Amazing, and then because I tipped, I do have to put the tomahawk steak with a whiskey. Uh, you got to You got to get you a right. good tomahawk steak yeah. with Mike, the bourbon. Hey, Micah, 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 help me understand. Sure, if I was going to do whiskey or not, but that uh, with the steak, but that, that, it only it only seemed to work. There you go. And there hey, Mike, go. thank my uh, my cousin, Mike. Thanks for signing on, man. That was awesome. Yeah, Mike, Appreciate good job, man. So, Micah, let me ask you this then. You voted. <laughs> what was the the tally for the top ten list? Who you had? Dude, you were seven to three. You you yes. destroyed Andy. That, that, you thank destroyed you. Andy. I mean, come on. Anybody with Caprese salad in his top ten summer list? I mean, what what is this going on? What's going seven on? Seven out of seven out of three of his were wines with yeah. some What's type of food on? that only said. the top two, like like Brian oh, said, only the well, top yeah. two percent can enjoy. On, it. I mean, come on, Andy. The I mean, the people, I, Andy, I told you. Right here. I put it. I put it in the comments that 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 Andy apparently was going to just be making a classy, trashy wine and food pairing show. I think so. Uh, I think so, so, rocking his Def Leppard while he's eating Caprese and drinking <laughs> Pinot. Uh, 
Hey, you know great. what? Let, let, let me tell you something. Mike, as a chef here, if you're looking to hire an aspiring chef and wine pair to be, who would it be, me or Todd? Who would you take on board if you wanted to take somebody with you? He, well, first of all, he wouldn't take any, either of us. He'd take himself. Oh, <laughs> Todd's much more sanitary, a lot less hair in the food, I would say. That is, <laughs> that is true. You know, I have so. hardly any hair. Yeah. Hardly any hair. So right there, I, I win. I That's can fair. Wear, I can wear a hair in it. Look at those locks. You're going to tell me about, look, I, I, come on now. Andy, Andy, Micah, they don't make a hair net that covers the whole body, bro. And Micah, Micah, <laughs> let me ask you this. Micah, you're a great fan. You, you've, you've watched a lot of our videos. Did you see our, uh -huh. our, our beer dinner with Mike at all? I did. I watched that whole cellar series, and he had a lot shorter hair. And so whenever he popped on, I thought he was the guy. from. <laughs> We shaved Andy's chest and we put it on my head. <laughs> and then we're gonna make it I had no part of that. No part of that. <laughs> makes perfect sense now. I, that that totally makes sense now. I mean, because uh, Todd has nothing to give you. I mean, like he barely even has eyebrows. So exactly. <laughs> uh, look, it's true. It's you true. can't always start. I Mike, can say you, you I can say this. Uh, I know, but the, the to me though, Mike, the look at the end by Cholula, Todd is used to that look. So that that to me, that that kind of yeah. wraps it all up. <laughs> Again, I, I do have one comment about what yes. you said though, Todd, and I, it didn't get shown. Uh -oh. But I'm sorry if you do if you don't put anything else in guacamole other than some diced tomatoes. Nope. That's just mushy avocado, bro. No, that's not dude. guacamole. Let me tell you right now, what makes that? that good that's guacamole. mushy you avocado. Say it all you want. No, 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 no. You're no. from Maryland, and you think mayo is spicy? No. no, uh, no. <laughs> okay. you. Mike, hold on. Avocados are what make guacamole. Correct. If you don't have the perfect, I'm telling you, it's going to be perfectly ripe. It can't be overripe or. You unripe. have to good avocados. You're absolutely right. But <laughs> what makes uh, what makes out guacamole good? I'm telling you, no, you don't need that junk. What you makes guacamole good? Of guacamole, is the spices avocado. in it. Nah, man, I'm you gotta telling have you, the spices, bro. I, wait, you gotta Mike, have the spices. When we get together in Mexico with Monica and Jimmy and everybody else. I'm gonna make some some guacamole, and I'm telling you, you'll like it. You'll like it. I'm, I'm promising you, like it. I'll probably be drunk, so sure, I'll eat anything at that point. You know, right. <laughs> well, you know, I think would actually pair even better though with the uh, the avocado and I mean the guacamole. A good old some zima. Uh, there you go. Yes, I that, yes. I think that would probably be the best way to pair it. I'm not gonna lie to you. To me, that's what you got to do with it. So, well, anyway, you know, I, you you brought up Alf there, and really, uh, I, it with all of your pairings tonight, Andy, you just are. Why must you needlessly complicate everything? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that that, that uh, I have to throw in my Alf references, hey, whatever you bring up. You go. Stick around for the. Uh, yeah, around, you'll, you'll be with I'll, us, be but, I'll be here. I'll be awesome. here. And and by the way, uh, Todd, I've said this to you before, and I'm going to say yeah. this with everybody watching. Uh -oh. I've asked you to do wine before. I said we should do some vineyards. We should do some tours. We should do some wine reviews. I want, and you like wine. I remember. I'm, yeah, I'm fine with doing that. No, you have fun. come to me and said, "Hey, it's my wife and I's anniversary. What wine should I get? Let's do yep. something nice." That's true. So you know, she I does like wine a lot more than I do, but I, I don't mind wine. I, mine's wine's fun. Wine I'd rather wine is one of my first love. I mean, I don't know. I, I absolutely love wine. So you're and gonna... Mike, you're a Mediterranean guy. You know how it is. You're, you 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 love some wine. I mean, that's that's. There's nothing more classy with food than wine. I love wine. Uh, I mean, I, I have to say when it comes to pairing food, I love pairing food with wine. Um, but I like to drink pretty much anything, Andy. So I, I'm not that, that particular with that. As long as it's good and as long as it's not McCormick's, I'm down with it. <laughs> you're, Jimmy. You're, I think Jimmy's not coming on. He's got it. You're such, a, you're such a good Greek. We appreciate that. All right. So uh, I'll go, let's go out to Cali. Monica, say uh, hi to our friend Mike. Mike, Monica. How are you, hey, Monica? Mike. Hi. Oh, have you tried the McCormick's before, though, Mike? I have actually had McCormick's. Oh, okay, because I'm all you can't I'm like not, say because I mean, it's not horrible. Exactly, <laughs> not horrible. It's not. It's not horrible. It's just. 
Uh, hey, it's you. light. It does taste like watered, like a watered down whiskey. Listen, from the sample that I got. When I first had this, Ocean, our friend Jimmy, Ocean, Ocean's World, he loved this. And and you know we have Robot Scott, and and he's like a and Andy actually, they're sort of whiskey experts now. They're like Jesus, this stuff is it's not even whiskey. I drank this much. Well, you can see how he can drink it all night, though, right? I totally can. Yeah, well, it's I something can. you can drink all night, not like a regular, like heavy. Yeah, Although dead. I've seen him drink the court <laughs> bourbon and whiskey all night, too. Except so. that it, it, it kind of makes you go. <laughs> I, I don't get, I get, Mike, I get hazelnut from that. And you can call me crazy. I don't care what you say. When I drank it first time, I thought it was going to be the most wretched thing I ever tasted. As Monica said, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. I'm only saying that because when I tried it, when um, Scott sent me all those nice little samplers last week, I'm, you know, I'm yeah. trying to learn how to, like, you yes. know, taste it in my mouth and really feel all the flavors. And then before I could say anything, my brother Jimmy goes, it's not horrible. I'm all, it's not horrible. <laughs> Monica, real quick, I sent you a package this week. They got six beers. Yes. What so did you tonight... I um I didn't get out to get the Buffalo Trace. That's okay. So I decided my good warm up is the um, Jack Green Apple and a little bit of Sprite. Ooh, so you no. sent me a Jack's Apple and the yes. RER. That's I'm ready the, to cut it out. Mike, to keep you know warm. RER, Mike, right? <laughs> and it is yummy, yummy. Your Apple so Jacks delicious. out of order. Oh my goodness, Apple great. Jacks sour. How good is that, Monica? It's good. How good, right? You I'll know what? Though, the sours, because like the beers has been in the fridge at the back of the fridge, yeah, for at least uh, twenty four hours because right. they showed up, you know. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. But this, do the sours just like not like it cold, cold, or is my room warmed it up quick? Do they warm up quick? They should get cold, cold. The problem is, Mike, I'm sipping fruited sours across the country, and they're bound to get warm, and that's not good for sours, right? That's not fruited sour. Yeah, I know. I, the last time I did, I was like, whoa, and I like waited a whole another yeah. day to get them in the fridge. It tastes good. It just. Um, I don't know. It's already I, I like know. kind of lukewarm to me. It's not cold, cold. So, but it's delicious. I love it. All right, good. I'm glad you do. So, what do we? By miss? the way, I love the Jimmy with all these McCormicks and stuff like that. I like a dark, dank red wine. It should taste like a shoe. He's got a sophisticated wine palate. You can give me there. I love, <laughs> I love it. We need to get yeah, into it. Hey, Priscilla. No, so, what's going on? Oh. Cheers. I used to like wine. Okay. Hey, Priscilla. No. Uh, and I showed you that red wine I liked last week, that red, sweet yeah, red blend. And then for a while, I only liked the Riesling because the Chardonnay was too dry and the, uh -huh. um, the dessert wines were too sweet. So I liked the Riesling or a um, Monica, Pino, did you? Pinot Grigio. Did you, well, it goes well with funnel cake, just to let you know. Um, yeah, no, I didn't <laughs> choose funnel cake on that one. Did you try uh, Todd's wine? It's really good. I'm not sure if you've had that. <laughs> no, before. I've never tried the Skinny Girl. It's really good. He wine. loves it. And, and you get that with the Skinny Girl popcorn. I mean, and you watch The Notebook, and it is a night to remember. Todd <laughs> I love it. The Notebooks. I, no, we all do. We all, now, Todd can't afford The Notebook to rent it, so he reads The Notebook. That's what he actually does. He'll read The Notebook. <laughs> Uh, I'll no, send you the notebook on DVD. He, he, he you reads still with have his a library DVD card. <laughs> he reads with his library card because he can't afford to actually mm. rent it on Prime. But that's all right. So anyway, I just want to point out that our friend Jimmy Ocean's World is can't come on tonight, but he's drinking with us. He wanted to show. He sent us an Instagram post what he's drinking while he's watching us. Look at that. Oh yeah, he's doing a Dew Driver tonight. What is that? What is that? It's Mountain Dew and the McCormick's vodka. Oh. Ah, there you go. There's Cheers, Jimmy. Um, we're glad you're with us, even in you know. Not yeah, Marcelo's not feeling well, so he can't. I, I wonder if he'll even be on the after show tonight. Oh, she, well, um, so Mike, Monica, I hope you join us at least for a little bit. I do the after show after this show, so yeah, Mike, sure yeah, there you go. Well, tell us, uh, Monica, before we get to the whiskey, what what do we miss for summer food? Summer food. Uh, I was gonna be funny and say that you know mixed nuts for my brother. What? <laughs> Having a bowl of mixed nuts for Jimmy. What is that? <laughs> last week. 
the uh, fire, the, the, the fire, the, 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 the super the soft, last week? The, the hot ones, Todd. The oh, ones that yeah. you have to order. Oh, uh, the only one that I can really think of that I that makes me think of summer food, and we only eat in summer, is then like the fruit salad. But I don't know if that's more a dessert. I, I, I wouldn't put salad on there. I did that. I tried that, Monica, and I got blasted for it. So you may want to be careful trying anything salad related. But I'm just saying. I Watermelon said fruit salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Um, and Johnny, I saw you just got booted. C come back on if you can get your connection going. We'll, we'll, we'll throw you on. But um, all right. Fruit salad's a good one. I'm telling you, I thought some of those were good picks. But We caught them all. You know, there's the barbecue. Anything that's on the grill is good. Uh, the yep. vegetables on the grill are always yes. good, but um, yeah. one thing we didn't have any of is kebabs. I love kebabs too. Like that's a good well, we, we could we could have stuck those shrimp and scallops together. That would have been good. But I'm I'm telling you that the, I, man, I, I want to come over oh. for some scallops, Andy. There you oh, go. They're good. I'm you, and and look, I don't grill. Is even though Hank Hill is my hero and he sells propane and propane accessories. My char, char, charcoal <laughs> by none is the way to go. I absolutely love charcoal grill. I will. I don't want to grow anything else. I love so. There's something about just that that charcoal taste that goes to it. And Monica, awesome. I don't know if you've seen our seller series with Mike, but make sure you go back and check them out. And then we're going to start them up. How fun is that, right? How Mike is an amazing cook. He really is. And we can't wait yeah. to show you guys these two. I was trying. I know you're going to do it afterward, but I wanted to drop the link. Is it Hella's Tavern? No, and Ella's, Ella's restaurant, restaurant and Ella's Ella's restaurant. Okay. Yep. Ella's you look restaurant. at Facebook. Facebook is really where you want to post it. Yeah, there was a couple on Facebook, so that's why I was like, you know, I, I want to do that. If I we'll, 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 dro we'll drop some of that stuff too. But go to our, our the uh, yeah. so you can see all that stuff. It's really good. Monica, all right, Monica, stick, Monica, stick, stick with around with us. Back. Right? We got a couple people okay. we bring in. All right, there we go. We got uh, uh, who up yet? It's Johnny. What's up? Hey, the four amigos. John, Mike. What's up, guys? What's up, Capola? <laughs> How you doing, Stavos? <laughs> I'm in there. So, uh, John, I don't know about you. Uh, do you prefer charcoal or propane? What do you What do you think for for grilling? Are we on a little bit of a delay here? No, no, no. no? Okay. I charcoal or so. propane? What do you, What do you, What do you got? He's, he's on a delay. He is on a delay. John's on a delay. All right, John's on a delay. <laughs> yeah, let me let me hop out and all hop right. Back we'll bring Evan. We got Evan. Yeah, we got a couple other people. That's our way of censoring John. Evan, what's going on? <laughs> what's hey, up, Evan, guy? what's up, buddy? How's it going, guys? What's going on, Another man? week, man. How are you? How's that dog? Oh man, real we good. Had, what, what was it? The uh, yeah, what would you, what did you what was last week's I don't even remember what was it last uh, week? oh the uh the long branch which the was, long branch yeah fantastic isn't that good long branch good all right for all the right, price right. for the price I'm I'm all in it's very yep, good very man. good yeah. by the way Todd Jimmy is voting for charcoal here charcoal versus propane Evan what do you yeah. got charcoal or propane what do you like I it's charcoal I mean you can do propane with certain things and that's fine and it's not you know abrasive that's but if if you really want to do it right, charcoal's the way to go. Well, you know what? I'll tell you this. You know why I, I, I grill porterhouses? Because the money I save on a $40 charcoal grill versus Todd's fancy dancy propane, because he can't. Not at all. His, you can his, get cheap his, propane. His Murray, his Murray yep. steaks. I, I get, <laughs> this is why I go with charcoal, and it tastes that much better. I'm just, I'm just throwing that out. Mike, so, you hear this, Mike? <laughs> I have a smoker, a charcoal grill. And a propane grill. And my charcoal grill is just the standard, like you probably just said, Andy, like the $100 Weber kettle grill. And I grill, during the summer, I grill more on that than the other two things by far. I, but that's I, my I'll, breakdown. I'll, I'll I agree. Listen, I'm not, and Dickie's dad just said it. I agree. I just don't, I got three kids I got to feed. I, I don't have time to, to light the grill, get it hot, put indirect heat. Okay. Todd, Listen, you you sound like you're like huddled in a dark corner with a hot plate, <laughs> with like just a just a just a you don't even like the chuck meats just in the tin foil and you're holding it over the hot plate. Like, dude, come on, come on. What do you do? Oh, Listen, I don't feel like Todd, you got no money, you got no patience. You kill him, Todd. You got no hair. This is what's going on. It's just one of those. You got to win this competition. The only thing you have is the top 10 right now. It's like going for I am so sorry, kids. There's no Christmas this year, but we'll have ramen noodles. Every, ramen noodles all around. You get to pick your but, flavor. You can have the beef or the chicken. The way he's talking, he's not even, he's not boiling them in water. 
He's just <laughs> just raw dog, just cracking a piece <laughs> off. You guys are acting like you can't cook good food on propane. I can. I can cook good <laughs> food on propane gills. Whatever. As, as long as it's petite. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Evan, what do we miss? Okay. Him off. Get Andy. He's pissing me All right. Off. It's it's more of a commentary, and I'm not I'm not gonna be throwing shade at anybody here. Go ahead. Todd, Go ahead. you had the better overall list. Thank you, you did. See, I lost. I'll but but uh oh. Okay, Andy, you just your strategy was all wrong with how you laid out your picks because you I love scallops, oysters. Uh Caprese, I'm very partial to. We always we get buffalo mozzarella, we get it from like a local and, and, market. And we have our for, homegrown thank tomato. You for pronouncing it right, Evan, too. I appreciate yeah. that. But that's my, all right. wife, Go ahead. my wife is also Italian, but so I get it. But yeah, but okay. You had the better things, but you just boom, 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 boom. You keep hitting them with that that one percenter stuff, and people and people are gonna get mad, right? Thank you. Right? You, mean the, you mean the folk like Todd, the ones that <laughs> I'm not one percenter, and I'm proud of that. <laughs> the guy with just a hand of Chuck beef with a propane torch, just because that's all he's got. I mean, whatever, it's good, man. <laughs> right. Um, Stay to the mad dog tonight. Oh, and then the, the very last thing is okay, well, I don't get why people I get this is you know your 21090 brewing home brewers. I get it. I'm a beer channel. Yeah. But where like the vitriol and just <gasps> at wine is kind of it seems overdone a little bit personally. Like it's not, it's just wine. Like I agree. Now listen, great. hold on. I I'll, I'll back you up. I was over the top on that a little bit, going after Andy. Mike can attest this, Mike. How many times in the cellar series did you say, you know what also would go with this dish is a, a, a nice wine? Like every dish, yeah. right? You can say there's a good beer and there's a good wine that could go with it. Right, Mike? Yeah, I think that's one of the things that we did for an episode yeah. or two where we paired cocktails, wines, and beers with the food. Because, yep. you know, it is. You know, like there's more than one way to skin a cat. And, uh, you know, I, I think that no matter what you're drinking with it, if you pair it right, it's going to go well. Yeah. Although wine I just is a little bit more sophisticated. It is the staple and flagship of Hellas Restaurant, the crab cake. And you know what goes good with crab cakes? Beer. I don't know, Todd. I'm kind of partial to cocktails. You know, Old Bay, horseradish, tomato. What goes better with crab? That's true. Mm. Yet to the crab et bon. Magnifique. Very sophisticated, coming from the guy in the Def Leppard shirt over no, no. here. Regular Def Leppard. See that? He loves showing that. He loves right showing that. Andy uh, definitely practiced that in the mirror in the bathroom so before good. you Thank guys you. did the video. You're right, you're yeah, right about he that. He's like the right. diction and everything. Yeah. Like, let, let, let me tell you something, Todd. You say I love showing it. If it took you as long as it did, you don't have the patience for a propane or for a charcoal grill to yeah. cut all this crap. I need to play it more than once. I got one shot of this stuff for one week, so I give it a couple of rounds. But anyway, no, I tell you, I do think wine is awesome, and I've got some very uh, cool ideas coming up for wine. I'm going to twist Todd's leg a little bit, and I think hey, we're going to do true. Something. I want to say hi to Rocky Bayou Mountain Man. Cheers, man! Thanks for coming. We're just talking about hey, and my sister. My sister my here. All right, what's going hey. on, Adrian? Hey, fun fact, Andy: your sister was on America's Got Talent, and even more so, she was on a two ten ninety video when we did our That's true. low calorie. When we were trying to figure out how to do a low calorie brew, she was huge fail. On that. Huge yeah. fail by by the way. This beer yeah. were not great. So, oh, look, and then uh, I want more wine on here. Oh, she wants, <laughs> all right. Um, Jackie, I guys, what do you think? Wine, do you want wine, wine on all? here? Well, Todd, you know, we do have to cater to all audiences, uh, even though you think I, 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 I kind of I am. Today. I'm just saying. I am open to all things, Andrew. Oh, the Cabernet. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that's if I go to a restaurant and get a steak, it, I, it's, it's, it's Cabernet. Cabernet. It's, it's really? Cabernet for sure. I don't, I, listen, I'm not a wine guy. I do I'm like Cabs. I couldn't agree with you more, Todd. Actually, I, I, Cabernet goes perfect with steak. I, it's a, it's an awesome pairing. So anyway, I can't, I can't argue with that. Thank you, Tony. Um, Evan, what do you got coming up on your channel? Come on, I'm waiting for more reviews. Uh, I, I just, I'm posting one as soon as I'm done here. I'm All right, please yeah. go check out uh, Weird Beer Reviews, Evan. It, I'm telling you, funniest beer <laughs> reviews around. I love yeah. watching your videos, dude. Yep. Mike, Thanks, by the way, buddy. Evan here is in in Kansas, right? Kansas. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm in. Well, I'm, I'm actually well, in Missouri. I'm in Kansas Missouri. City, Missouri. I'm Kansas, in Missouri. All right, Kansas, sorry. Missouri. Anyway, he's a big cheese fan. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, um, but 
he's a former com- you're not a former you are a comedian no and- uh, there's actually comedy clubs opening back up which i already played to not very See? big crowds so it's even more pathetic but yeah i'm actually going <laughs> i did one uh, a couple nights ago did you oh my god i love that yeah. he, his beer reviews are a genius he, he reviewed I think some unicorn farts mike you know from duke law mike knows what unicorn yeah. farts yeah. is he oh, came yeah. out with a unicorn head on him from his his daughter had a, like a, a unicorn. So oh, head, oh, yeah. yeah. And he went on a tangent about how it's like you know um, edible glitter. He immediately thinks of strip clubs and, yeah. and bad like um you know um. It's buffet. a bad strip club <laughs> with a yeah, buffet. Yeah, absolutely. And then yeah, he got on the and, and, and pour some sugar on me playing yeah. in the background. <laughs> <laughs> you, man. Absolutely. Look, it's great. Uh, please, everybody in this chat, you gotta check out Evan. He, and we use really good guy and. Doing something different, which you have to do. Have to do. Yep. Oh, and, uh, and Todd, uh, not to, I'm not trying to plug myself, but yes. you always ask me, like, where's the good grade coming? Yes. This this latest one is, mm. is the good. I'm not going to say what, but it's a good grade. Because you've done a lot of C's and D's. and that's- Yeah, I, it was very uh, – I really started to get down on myself. I was like, is this my life? Are these the beers <laughs> I've drank for 15 years? They're just, just not great stuff. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the, it's the journey. Mike, okay. he's doing. He, Mike, he's doing weird. He's, his channel is weird beer reviews, so he's interviewing, like doing weird beers as his reviews. So it's got to be something weird. It has. To be, it can't be like a you know, you know, a standard What's IPA. Mm. Right. Well, right. hey, Evans. Um, if you haven't checked him out, go check him out. His stuff yes. is fantastic, and Thanks, know, we, we appreciate you, man. Stick um, around. Do you have you have Buffalo Trace? Stick around. If you guys stick yeah. around, we'd love to. Yeah, he's got Buffalo Trace. Yeah, so right, stay good. with us, man. All right, uh, Johnny, we, we left you. We're going to actually bring two people on at the same time. Uh, Todd, wh- what time is it? I don't know. What time is it? It's time. Go on. What time is it? It's time. Go on. What time is it? It's time. Go So we've, we've got Scotty, and then we're going to bring Johnny on, too. Let's get five because I know you've both been waiting. Uh, John, is your connection all right? Can you hear us? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just wondering where's where's my intro, man. <laughs> I know, right? Well, don't you, t- t- John? I, don't I, actually, yeah, I, I have something planned for you. Don't worry, my friend. You, you, and, uh, you, you won't, won't be left alone. And also, where's your brother been? Nah, uh, it's a good question. He, he, he's on. He's, he's no, here. I know he's in the chat, but I haven't seen I haven't seen him on here in a while. Well, well it, you know, I don't know. We're gonna have to see if we can pull him back in. You'll, you'll we'll have to ask him because Tony adds a lot to the show. But we have Mike. He here. certainly does. He, he oh, can't yeah. compete. With, he can't compete with Mike. <laughs> Look at that sexy beast. Who can? Right, Mike? Who can? Who can? <laughs> Scott, how's it going, man? Good. How are you guys doing? Another week, buddy. How are you? Good. Yeah. So, so, Johnny, Scott, tell us what did we miss, man? What were some yeah, summer foods? Go with the food first. Tell us what we missed. You didn't. I mean, from my perspective, you didn't. Well, Andy, you missed on a lot of your pairings, but you didn't miss like a lot of foods. I don't think. And hey, I love wine. I love wine too, Andy. But I mean, you went like John's super. Like, I love hold on, John. Wine. You, John is a hundred percent Italian. Andy's and you're half Italian, or what are you? Yeah, percentage yes, wise? I'm half Italian. And John, they were all. Andy's Italian John's a hundred percent Italian. Uh, I I I love a good wine. I'm not saying that. I just I. I drink. I guess I drink a lot more beer and a lot more um, spirits in the summertime than I do than I do wine. Because I'm not yeah. a huge white white wine yeah, guy. Like, I was gonna I'm, say, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a the, bigger the red wine guy. Drink are it has definitely... to be one food though, John, that you missed. That you. I mean, you missed corn on the cob. I mean, that's something I, I always. Had my, I had it in my. Sort I always. Of, do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Todd, you no, we Todd had corn. I had corn, corn cob in my shrimp. Well, you had it in your boil. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, yeah. that's true. You're yeah. Hey, Todd, what you think? I love corn. Mmm, mmm, so good. That's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> the orange is corn. <laughs> <laughs> we need no other takes as absolutely. Uh. That's a big bite. Uh, don't see yeah. that clip. Is I that mean, how many clip? times have we seen that in the that last clip? two hours? It's a lot. Twice. That's only been the second time. <laughs> Listen, that yeah, clip, that corn was like three weeks old, and it was like hard and wretched. And I took a huge bite out of that, and I started like, like what is this? I like immediately regretted my decision. <laughs> immediately regretted it. You can see it in the video. I spit it out in the trash can <laughs> behind me. Mike, do you guys ever do a uh, Mike, do you guys ever do a chilled crab soup, like a gazpacho oh, kind, kind oh. of soup? 
We have, yeah, we have in the past. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that in the summertime. If you don't want something heavy, you get a chilled like a chilled crab soup. There's a couple of places around here that do a good one of those. Um, anything crab, anything seafood is always. And um, Mike, Mike, what kind of wine would you pair that with? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, don't do that. Facho? Yeah. How about like a nice Sicilian white? See, there we go. I love it. Go. Speaking my language. Hey, Speaking hey, Scott, language. Scott, uh, real quick, have you you know of Hellos, right? You're a local guy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the Mike is now. You can sit. You can go on there and say, "Yeah, hey, Mike." And Mike Scott is our resident whiskey ask expert here on the channel. So he's locally lives in Glen Burnie. So he or you're moving soon, I think, right? So yep. Uh, but you're still staying local, and uh, yep. he knows. You know how good their crab cakes are, then, right? Oh yeah, my uh, girlfriend's kickball team used to go there after every game. Oh, uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Small world. So yeah, yeah, Scott, yeah. anything we missed on our on our on our list of foods? Uh, I had a uh, Dumser's milkshake. Ooh. Since you're talking about Thrasher French fries, Dumser's, yes, very. What would good. you pair that with, Scott? I was just gonna say that that's gonna kill me. Because like, I thought about I terrible. thought about ice cream, and oh. then I was like, what do I pair it with? Yeah, I good. would I would pair it with an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Oh, oh, I love it. That's, <laughs> that's going to feel terrible in the morning, but that's yeah, awesome. that's going to yeah, be yeah, a good yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, Mike, what would you, Mike? What would you actually, actually, what would you do if there's something like a milkshake or ice cream? Like, what would you pair that with? Yeah, from, yeah, from, from, bourbon, a, from a from a from a drink yeah. wise, where, what would you pair it with? Definitely bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. Bourbon. Yeah. Um, definitely like a maple sweet. bourbon kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Maple bacon, yeah. like bourbon, like those are great flavors to put in that. To, and it depends on the flavor of the ice cream, you know. I mean, if you're just going with a regular vanilla ice cream, you definitely, you know, I would definitely go with something on, like, the bourbon side. But if it's, like, a fruity ice cream, you know, you, there's a whole bunch of different things you could go with Ooh, in that yep. regard. And actually, right. hey, uh, John, you'll appreciate this, Todd, you too. So Jimmy said, like, a good state fair corn dog. So when uh, Todd and John and I, we went to Pryor, Oklahoma, about 30 miles south of Tulsa, to rock Oklahoma, which was like the original hairband festival like started it all and we walked around that fairgrounds anything you could stick in a deep fryer they did corn dogs oreos twinkies uh burgers it, it did not matter and they were all fantastic but i think yes. a corn dog actually i should have gotten corn dog into funnel cake because that is like summer state fair food yes. to a tea like, what would you pair the corn dog with andy a nice, uh, a nice a white wine spritzo. A, a white nice wine spritzo. <laughs> a, Mills, maybe, yeah. a white wine spritzer. A Moscato. Moscato. <laughs> a, 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 Ries, a Riesling. A Riesling. Uh, no, in all, in all seriousness, I would probably pair it with a skinny girl. Uh, uh, I don't know how I got that. <laughs> I don't know how I got that. Oh, God. Um, anyway, <laughs> can we get into whiskey? Can we start drinking some whiskey? Please. Do you want, do you want to start drinking whiskey, Todd? Yes. My God, are, are you ready for whiskey, uh, Scotty? Yes, I am. All right. Time to tell you, baby, we'll buy the bottle that you drink. Well, I like that, Andy. That's a little Bon Jovi. That was pretty good. That was good, Andy. Andy stepped up his game. Guys, in the chat, give Andy some props. He put a lot of the what, effort into these things. I'm drinking McCormick, so I'm taking the hell for, for like liking wine. You can, you, you can all, whatever. Everybody right, gives some compliments to Andy. Come on, he did a lot of work tonight. You only have to do good one job, shot, Andy. Andy, and then you can wash it down with some Buffalo Trace. You'll, there you go. You'll, you'll live. All right. All right. So our Whiskey of the Week is Buffalo Trace. Scott, tell us a little about this awesome, awesome bourbon. Uh, so Buffalo Trace uh, basically is a Sazerac company. It was uh, the property is actually pretty cool. There's a bit of distillery on it since 1775. The first distillery was registered there. Um, it was uh, bought by National Distillers uh, and by Sazerac in 1992. So it's actually a pretty new company. And Buffalo Trace we're having tonight it actually didn't come out till 1999. So it's one of the youngest brands. Um, that distillery there, it's, uh, it's a national uh, historic landmark. Uh, the original building and distilleries uh, was designed part, uh, in part by uh, um, master distiller, um, well, I can't think of his name, uh, Albert Blanton. Uh, it was also called the George T. Stagg and OFC Distillery. 
Um, in 2016, Buffalo Trace put in another $200 million into expanding the distillery on that location Jeez. so that we can get Dang. more of their products. But they're the one that bring you everything from Buffalo Trace to Eagle Rare to E.H. Taylor uh, to Sazerac Rye to Pappy Van Winkle. Good wow. stuff at Buffalo Trace, yeah. So this the Buffalo Trace, the whiskey. What do we? Uh, what's the grain bill on this? Do we know? Uh, it's their mash bill um, uh, one, so it's less than ten percent rye. They don't. Okay. They don't really release don't it. Okay. No. So it's ninety have, proof, right? Ninety two proof. Mash bills. Yeah. Yeah. And Scott, do you like this? I mean, is this something you have an everyday, everyday sipper? What What do you oh, categorize? Yeah. And then, Oh yeah, this is definitely an everyday sipper and a big recommendation. And you know, another thing I love is that a lot of them do store picks of it. Ah. So like this is from uh, Do- uh, oh, this is Davison's liquor, but this is in Col- when I was in Colorado. But if I ever see any of them anymore, it's- but regular Buffalo Trace is becoming harder to find uh, because Buff- everybody hunts Buffalo Trace. So they also make Weller. That's correct. Yeah, I think he did. Um, but uh, you know, it's twenty six dollars for a bottle. It's great stuff, uh, great gr- beginner bourbon, just a little bit harder to find these days, and a great everyday sipper. And if you can get – a lot of stores will do single barrels of it each year, and they're great. So I don't way, think any – I, I got to yeah. say, Jimmy's quote may be the coolest quote ever. I mean, did he, did he comment here? <laughs> that's like watching my favorite TV show, and the characters keep shouting me out. Love it. That, that's, <laughs> we'll that's take awesome. it. That's awesome, Jimmy. Thank you. That's awesome. Um, but, so j- – this yeah. whiskey, I don't know if anybody else in the chat has it. Dickie, that if you have it, or I know Evan had it, but he's gone now, so I don't know where we can't bring him back. We can bring the rest of the panel in it if you want, and just have a good old time before we ship it over to Monica's because it's like getting late. Any, anything you want to say about you are also yes. a guru of this. Anything you want to say as I put you on the spot and put you right up there on camera about Buffalo Trace? Is this something you enjoy? Is this uh, yeah? No, Buffalo Trace. It's like Scott said, it's a great starter whiskey, and we always have a bottle up in the bar. We go through a couple bottles a week. It's, uh, wow. Very nice. Yeah, it's. Uh, I definitely um, would suggest that to anybody that is not like a, you know, whiskey connoisseur that's trying to break into it. It's definitely a good representation of bourbon. A couple of bottles a week. Wow, that just shows you. Yeah, Mike, what would be the at your place? I, I know it's. You know, it's not known. I mean, maybe it is known for whiskey. I mean, you have a lot of beer drinkers at your place, I assume, too. But what's, like, your number one whiskey, not like Mac or not like Jack Daniel? Is there, like, a certain one that you go through the most? It's a good question, I think. Or how much you sell the most or what I would Yeah. So, like, yeah, what's the one, not like the Jack Daniels or anything that's, like, sort of top, you know, bottom, you know, shelf yeah, or yeah, rail. You sell but... a good amount of, like, stuff. That's what I'm drinking. What, what's that, Mike? McAllen's 12 years scotch. We saw a good amount of that. Um, I'm okay. a particular um, fan of uh, Glenn, uh, Glenn Livid, a uh, 15 year French oak finish. Um, wow. You know, bourbon wise, um, Blanton's probably, you know, one of the better bourbon, bourbons we carry. We don't have a lot of higher end bourbons. We try to be affordable and approachable with what right. we offer. Todd, so you can you, go there then. I, well, I'll, I'll take a Buffalo <laughs> Trace. Do you have any larceny there? We do. We have Larceny. We have an acceptable uh, whiskey menu. I think one of my favorite whiskeys we have is the Basil Hayden, the Caribbean rum barrel aged Basil Hayden. Nice. Um, you know, that's definitely up there. We have a quite a, uh, a large selection of uh, whiskeys. Actually. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You guys Second. do have a nice selection of whiskeys. Nice. There you go. So, Mike, I, Mike, I. I have a question for you. Uh, will you be able to? Because I, I may just go ahead and buy some if you start shipping these. Will you be able to get those to Houston, Texas before they get bad? Because I kind of want to try these crab cakes now. Crab cakes, yeah, sure. You know, I mean, if uh, you know, we can arrange something, and I can. We're just not doing a lot of like mass shipping right now, but I can ship you something now. Mike, Mike, email me, and I'll get you in touch. Yeah. That'd be great. That'd be great. Yeah, I want to try them. It's not. It's not you, I, I've never had a good crab cake because I live in Houston, Texas, and all of our crabs oh. are tiny and have and have oil in them. Mike, uh, you so. John, John, <laughs> John, tell him about it. John, right? Am I wrong, John? John? No, no, they're they're phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's the, oh yeah, you know, it's the place to go around here for them. Yep. And but Hello's Todd, actually has like a a good size one too. Yeah, Todd, Todd I'm surprised you can afford. Hell is crap. <laughs> <laughs> I just said. Oh, he doesn't pay for them. 
That's right. He Mike just filmed something. Did... He filmed no, something there. That's not then, true. Yeah, okay, I, I can afford crab cakes. I'm talking about porterhouse steak that costs like sixty bucks. Okay. But so Todd, I have dude, to tell you, you got before, like a hundred bucks tonight. Off. Get you a good yeah. steak. I'm gonna yeah. hop off and leave and leave you guys to to the uh, to the whiskey uh, <laughs> talk. But but Todd, before I go, you really have to tone it down a little bit. You're making people see that like think that like you're living on like you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. he has three no, hold on. I just said I don't, I don't, I don't have have beans here. Wait, no, wait. I don't yeah. eat porterhouse steaks and I don't I don't buy filet mignons from Costco. I buy sirloins. What do you want me to say? That's not like it's not cheap. The sirloins are still expensive too. Yeah, when you go out to a restaurant, do you still order a sirloin or do you order a filet? I don't go out to restaurants. I got three kids. <laughs> got if I sent you some money, they don't have to go. Some more yeah. money, no, you all gotta no, go out. My, par- my parents went out all the time. We Todd, didn't go with them. Todd, like Andy said, <laughs> you, you're you're stocking your fridge with all of these like highbrow like sours and two hundred dollars for two cases of beer. Yeah, beers, but, twenty bucks for four beers. Don't listen, listen, to you. cut these. Cut these guys off. All right. Remove I'm him. See you guys. Remove him. <laughs> remove him. Remove him. Remove all these guys. No, I'm just joking. Bring back. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scott. I got mad. Listen, it is what it is. I, at at Costco, $80, Stop. you can get a beef tenderloin. It'll Actually, see. here's what I did. I got, you know, you, you, you get like, I have the, um, you get the, the cash back from Costco. You know what I mean? You get oh, like yeah. a check. So I had like, a, it was like $96. I was like, you know what? So I bought one of those big tenderloins and I cut up and they got me like 16 tenderloins. Oh, yeah. There you go. So that's there, how, I will have I buy it, and then I, I I make them like two and a half, three yes. inches thick, and then Perfect. I yeah. and then I yep. sous vide them, and then I you know I throw them on the grill or cast iron pan. And Ooh, look at Scott. Look at Scott oh. sous vide. Yeah, I, 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 I don't have a sous vide. I'm, I'm, I'm I don't have that. The, I'm the highbrow guy here who offended everybody. But look at all these people that are. You are. Let's be honest. Come on now. <laughs> 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 Andy, you had the skinny, the skinny girl wine picks of the night. I'm Thank sorry, you. you did, bro. You, you did. You. I mean, come on. Yours. Andy. Okay, Andy. I'm gonna say it wrong because I'm from Texas, and like OG Tom pointed out, we get kicked out of the South if we pronounce it right. It's Caprese salad, and if we say <laughs> that, <laughs> that is no, no with wine, yes. no, no. And he had it number five. He had number five. At number five. At number five. If it's your number ten, I'd give you a break. What was it? Ribs. Watermelon is better against. It's better than that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Andy. Look at Andy. Look at Andy. Tear your basil to get the flavor up. You don't cut it. You tear it. By the way, I love this buffalo trace. By the way, we haven't talked about it. Oh, sorry. Yep. Well, and I'm going to say, in order to now remember, the, the top 10 is the totality of the list. So I had an appetizer and some salad. I had a dessert in the funnel cake. Todd had nothing but beef and chili. I thought, no. yeah. you know, I had guacamole, yeah. I had french fries. <laughs> well, what's, what's wrong with beef and chili and starches? There, well, there's you know, nothing there's, wrong there's with right, that. There's nothing wrong with beef and chili. I'm just saying, I wanted to kind of expand the horizons. And who there. won, Andy? Exactly. Well, Todd, I have McCormick's. I think I'm the winner. Three weeks in a row. There you go. <laughs> hey, let me He's stop for a second. He's finally getting in line. He was the Real winner. Real quick, he on the Buffalo Trace, um, Scott, what do you think of Buffalo Trace? It's, I, I think it's, it's it's got a nice cinnamon, like hot flavor, like a nice hot to it. I mean, it's only 90 proof, so it's not that. I know it's not a big bourbon. Woo. What else do you get it from it? Are you drinking it now or no? Uh, maybe you're not. No, I'm drinking it. Uh I mean, I, I get off my bottle yesterday. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> uh, I mean, I I don't think this one has too much cinnamon in it to me, but it, it's a uh, very uh, vanilla. Yeah, I get that on the nose, and then uh, you know, just a you know, there's no burn. I think it's just extremely well balanced. Um, you know, a little a little sweet with a you know a, a decent little finish for a ninety proofer. Right. It's nice. Yeah. Scotty, have you tried this yet, man? The um. The oh, there you go. No, I have not. I, I saw your guys' review on it. It's great. It's fantastic. It's really, really, really good. I Andy, you might want to share it with him because, you know, he gave us a lot of whiskey. I have no problem sharing Yeah, I gave you all those samples for Todd that he never got. So <laughs> 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 Honestly, Scott, I would. I don't think I can afford the gas to go over to your place. <laughs> Two percenter, guys. Two percenter oh, right there, right? Yeah. You know, what the heck? Yeah. I don't think I can make it. Well, yeah, anyway. I mean, drinking all those fancy wines and, and yeah. having that no, caprese Andy's, salad. Andy's, yeah, I can see it. Andy's Andy's more more grounded than I am, so it's all good. Hey, listen. No, no, no. It's all good. Look, I will say this. I, I did love wine before any of yes. this happened. 
wine was like so when i was when i was working in um baltimore city public schools all day long i mean it was it, it's tough it's a tough job i'm not gonna lie to you and at the end of the day on top of making nothing todd talks about making no money being in baltimore you didn't make much as a teacher nope. so i had to oh have God, a second no. job and i went and i worked at this upscale little wine shop downtown they taught me everything about wine i mean we had to take tests to like keep our jobs like <laughs> like talk about the terroir, where it was from, and geographically, can you grow it here? And can you pronounce converts from here, and all this stuff like that? And I'm telling you, I fell in love with it because wine. If you didn't, Mike, you would know this. Running Hellas, wine is the most overpriced of all the spirits. They mark up on wine is insane. A six dollar bottle of wine will cost you. There you go. There it is. Yeah. You oh, and Jack, yeah. I had to. Hey, so, yeah. The it, margins it, on wine and keg beer. It, it's ridiculous. It. The markup. <laughs> Hey, so that's I, where Mike I, makes his money. Oh, Mike, yeah. don't tell him to say that. Mike. I can't have I have a hard time having a <laughs> Wait, I know how much it really costs and how much they're selling it for. It's all right. I can't do it. Crazy. It's all right. Crazy hey Monica, market. can you put you can have the after party tonight or no? Of course. Can you put your link up? All right. And well, again, look. uh everybody please go over to Monica's. We'll be ending this soon. Um Check out Monica's page and also on Monday nights, Micah, right there, finish the glass. Uh, Eight thirty. Yeah. I think yes. This week we're gonna have uh, beer chugs on at this. Oh, house. nice! Like, I've been talking with them, and uh, we're, we're gonna have beer chugs on. So I can't wait to watch. And uh, make sure you check out him on Wednesday nights tomorrow night for what's day yep. BV. I'm gonna be on it this time. So there I'm pretty you excited. go. And everybody who's local still, uh, Melissa, you're still around. Great. We'll be sending you out that gift card soon. And hopefully you can. And then, Micah, if you want to order those crap cakes from Mike, I'll get oh, you a budget. Road budget. trip, yeah, Melissa. There you go. There you go. Of all the Maryland foods y'all talked about, that's one that I'm actually I'm interested Micah. in. So. I'm we're, we're, not, <laughs> we're not messing around. You can't no, go man. wrong with crap cakes. Honestly, if we're, we're like 100% transparency. Mike and his crew are not oh, only yeah. eligible. They know their stuff. Yep. They treat you like gold, but the food they put out is absolutely awesome. phenomenal. Every That's time awesome. I have an event, whether it's a it's a wedding shower or a birthday. My, or, yeah. Mike, like, Mike, can you cater? Can you yep. do this? My can parents you were having their 50th wedding anniversary there in April, and, of course, COVID happened. That stopped, but we were going right to Mike's place because it's the best. That's awesome. I, if Tom, I get up to Tom, Maryland, I'm going to have to check it out. Forks at people? Are you trying to hit someone with a fork? What are you doing, Monica? Me? That's not my noise. <laughs> that looks like somebody's in the kitchen somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's mine. Sorry. Oh, there's, where, there he is. Evan, where have you been? <laughs> I'm going to go get ready. I'll see you guys in All right, a Monica. We'll see you right, Come on by just for a little bit. Good to meet you. I can, I can see the best of y'all after. Evan, what do you got the Buffalo Trace, buddy? Right, you you pour some. Evan had there it is. I got it. What do you think about it, real quick? I mean, I've I've had it for years. It's it's just one of the staples. If you have mm -hmm. a bar and you stock it with bourbon, it's like mm -hmm. Buffalo Trace, Maker's Mark, um, Bullet. Bullet's got some good. I mean, th those Buffalo are just the staples. Yeah, to there me. you go. Yeah, there you yeah. go, man. No, it, have, it's definitely this is if I if you had to pick one bourbon to, to introduce people to like. What does bourbon supposed to taste and taste yeah. like? It would be Buffalo Trace. Yeah, the only the only problem is now it's like if you went back two years ago, you'd find it in every liquor store. Right. And now, around, at least around point. here, I mean, yeah. I could probably go to a couple and not see it, it's, or like unless I hit the hit the right time of the month because it's just so popular. Because it, it's yeah, yeah. Went, Whitey's had like two left. I couldn't believe it. That's all they yeah. had left. Yeah, yeah, it's becoming a whole heck of a lot more popular now, and it's, yeah, I mean, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's really yeah, good. It, yeah, it. and it, and they don't jack the prices up as bad as they do in everything else. Because mm -hmm. I mean, like, you know, it used to be Weller you could find. Now that's impossible to find. And then it was Blanton's, and now Blanton's is, you know, really hard to find and really expensive if you do find it a lot of times. Yep. And and now like E H Taylor was, and, and now E H Taylor just won a bunch of awards for their small batch. So this oh, is going to yeah. skyrocket even worse Ooh. than it was. It's become that's a great pour too. Oh yeah, I love this stuff. That's a good um, point, Scott. I now that I think about it, like there used to be three different liquor stores that I knew I could get Buffalo Trace at nearby, and now there's one. Yeah. So you're totally right. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So and it's I I don't know that you know they're expanding and they're you know they're laying down more bourbon, but it takes so many years. So I mean I know they they allocated the money in 2016, but I don't think they really started. 
major expansion until probably 2018, and then that whiskey's got to get two, four to six mm -hmm. years old before they can, yeah. you know, really start using it. So we still got some time before they can catch up a little bit. And they're just guesstimating, you know, it just might, it might be a drop in the bucket if the the whiskey craze continues to go like it is. Well, Scott, they were, uh, there was an article that came out about a week ago that said it's going to take them at least two and a half years to catch up to production to get things out in the time that they, they want to, to keep up with demand. So it's, uh, it's, it's hard for them to, to because they got so bloody popular, and that's why it's hard to find. They fly off the shelves, and you people yeah. are paying more than they should for a lot of these. Wellers oh, yeah. is ridiculously another uh, ridiculous. trade price, way overpriced. Eagle yep. Rare, if you can find it for MSRP, fantastic. It's a steal for 10 years. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you, you're out. lucky I mean, to find it under 50. Yeah. yeah. These days. I mean, I used to pay 26 bucks for it. Yeah, things have changed quite a bit uh, in the in the bourbon. Now, with Todd, Todd's gone. This is great. I'm going to let you all in a little secret <laughs> for next week, okay? Because he's got a narrow urethra. So what we're going to do next week is our top 10 is going to be grandparents. All right, it's, don't look at me like that, Micah. That's from that's from Hank Hill. That's a, that's King of the Hill. That's the King of the Hill. Right? I I got it. I just like what the hell. <laughs> anyway, next week is actually on Tuesday is Grandparents Day, so we're gonna do top ten uh, grandparents like favorite characters from a movie or a show. I think it's gonna be fun. But what, Scotty? What bourbon would be better than Old Granddad One Fourteen? And Todd, it's the first one he ever tried. He wanted to spit it out. He hated it so bad. I love OGD. <laughs> but we're going to have the – he doesn't know yet the, 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 the whiskey of the week next week. Sneak preview. There it is. There it is. Old. $23. It is solid. Jimmy, go, hold that horrible. up again. It is so – no, no, no. Hey, Scotty, tell him. That's a good That's oh, a good point. Oh, this is – I mean – Wait, wait, four. wait, 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 wait. Wait, hang on. Hang on. This, 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 is, this is the point I'm going to make. How about Scott? Hold that back up again. It ain't that great. You haven't finished it. I just opened it. <laughs> I just opened it tonight. Opened it? Okay. I just opened, I, I literally, yeah, I think I got the wrapper around here. Hey, I actually, actually didn't. You have I more empty it. bottles behind you of other stuff I, that you've obviously. I actually, you know, I actually didn't drink it. I was mixing a blend, but uh, I, I was See? making. I was making E. H. Taylor four grain poor poor man's E. H. Taylor four grain. So, hmm. and it has O. D. fourteen in it. Actually, Mike, if, if if you like the Firestone, the Texas bourbon, that's got a little bit of that heat and kick, that kind of like the cinnamon red hots, you'll absolutely love the one fourteen. It's really good. I love it. Okay. Yeah, Old Grandy one fourteen is is good. I'll see if I can find it. That I I don't know. It I've never heard be, of it. It's, it's it. everywhere. It shouldn't a, be that hard to find. Everywhere. It's easy to find. I got so. quite a few liquor stores around me. I do live in Texas, so. <sighs> Well, yeah. anyway, look, I, I, I do, you have a, do you have a specs near you? I think we've got a. Um, we've got specs. We've got uh, uh, twin liquors. We've got uh, total wines, probably. With total wine and more. We got like four of those. I'm um, sure that I'm sure specs has got it. I got all of them. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, specs does too. You'll, you'll find specs it. has quite a good stuff. So, so Todd, I was, I was telling them that next week yep. we're going to do grandparents top ten favorite grandparents because grandparents day on on that next tuesday okay from, from uh a movie or a show All so right. that, i think that'd be fun and grandparents i don't know many grand oh, geez grandparents todd <laughs> movies and shows there's thousands yeah and todd thousands of you can fun. knock out four four of the ten with just the golden girls <laughs> 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 that's true that's a good point that's good. Evan, I need to e Evan, Evan, I'll email you. You can help me with my list. How's that? I'm going to go <laughs> with, like, meet the Fockers. Meet the Fockers. There, there no, that's go. true. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right, get, that's good. Get your list ready. I think it'll be fun. But uh, there's a okay. special bourbon for next week, Todd. I'll and, fill you in soon. Oh, uh, Jimmy, Andy, you do Let's it. Let's go get a decent state, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god look at that <laughs> look at that See, I feel like you need to go body. you need to go visit Mike and have him cook you a real good steak and uh, make sure you tip oh, him on. with all this well, money you, if, there you go on our seller series he had this he had New York strip Ooh, on I don't know what we did it with Mike but you had a New York strip which was a nice cut of steak right I mean come on yeah, yeah that's good. a good steak that's there you go <laughs> You should get you a tomahawk. I'm telling you. Tomahawk we is the way to go. We, we do want to say tomahawk. Tom could, could afford to lick the bone of a tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, 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 Mike and I actually ate it, and then we gave Todd the leftovers. He yeah. 
<laughs> Guys, this is Mike. Start thinking. <laughs> episode one, we got to play off this. I can't eat good steak, evidently, for episode one of season two of uh, hopefully yeah. this month. We're, we're yeah. gonna have. Guys, wait wait until you see the season two of uh, Seller Series. We, we got, hopefully, big plans. Nice. That was awesome. Hey, Sounds uh, I really enjoyed the first season. It was really yeah, it it was good. Really cool. It's fun. Yeah, yeah I enjoyed yeah, it. Now great. that you know, Mike, it's even better. I'm trying to tell you thank you, but thank yes. you. Yes. Excellent. Giddy up. Hey Andy, Andy, I'm just gonna point something out. That uh, your little beer swirl thing. I know where you got that from. I like it. I like Ooh, it. Ooh, there you go. I, I like you, it. It's a little, it's a little gem that makes things a little bit easier. So I. Mean, yeah, I mean, you know, you're, you're, you feel free to use it. I know exactly where you got it because it's my intro too. Mm. <laughs> so, so I like it. I like it. I dig it. All right, everybody, <laughs> please go over to Monica T. Money Arts channel. Uh, she might be live now. We've been a while here, but we're gonna head over there. Have the after party. It gets a little crazy. Last week, <laughs> um, our buddy Jimmy, Ocean Arts, oh. he ate the number five nut on the nut of death. I don't even know what you call it. But uh, it Evan, did you see nuts. that? Evan, you didn't see that, did you? No, no. Oh, my God. Death nuts. And then he, Evan, I, I yeah. just had that horrible hot pepper just mouth bomb. And so I, I yeah. would like to see someone else suffer with the death he, nuts. But then he, he did that. Oh, he suffered. Was, he then, then chugged McCormick's, which didn't help. Like you could probably <laughs> instantly made it worse. Instantly <laughs> made, it, and he even said it. He said that was not a good decision. I immediately regret my decision. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and he popped on my live stream last night just to show yes. me that he got those four packs in. You're and doing he it. Remembered that I said I You're would do it. it. And I was like, You're crap. Doing it. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, Mike, it's all Mike, Mike, a hell of a live stream, though. I mean, yeah. oh, it's gonna like, happen. It's gonna be live too. Figuratively, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do it, Micah, on your live stream. I'm man. doing it. Do it. I'm yeah. doing it. It's gonna yeah. happen. He's yeah. gonna send me one, and we're gonna we're gonna get it going. Good night, little, little brother. Said thank you. He's doing cheers, something. Tony. Going. We appreciate, appreciate you, man. You. Thanks, uh, buddy. We're, we're gonna head over to the. So, you gotta thank uh, Mike. All right, guys. Are you guys going over? Hopefully, maybe for a little bit. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I'm going, going, I'm going for a little bit. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. See you guys. Um. But Mike, we do want to say yeah. thank you. Uh, it, uh, this has been fun. I hope you enjoyed yourself. You you hung out with us for a while tonight. I know, Mike. Thank you, buddy. It's been my pleasure, guys. It's always a pleasure. And and we uh, we honestly we cannot wait to to get started on Seller Series uh, season two. That we had a blast. That we it was it was not just fun because we've been friends for a long time, but the education we got has been fantastic i mean it just just learning about the different yeah. foods and, and beers and drinks and stuff and it was great i mean right down to your wife made homemade cookies once i know for and paired for with a beer and we it's were like amazing. oh my god this is the greatest beer. and, and the cookies like and the cookies were amazing before. oh it my was god that it was that can we have those cookies again for, for for december can we do that can we do that maybe no doubt, no doubt. there you go yeah, just think of another beer that would go with it oatmeal oh. raisin cookies and, oh my uh, god we paired it with uh, uh, um, St. Barnabas. One of them was St. Barnabas, wasn't it? St. Bernardus Christmas Sale. Yes. Well, that was one. Yeah, we did a yeah, few beers. Raisin was St. Bernardus Christmas Sale. All right. that was Listen, good. Mike, if we're going to do one in September, let, let's, we'll, we'll get it. It's going to be good. We, we have it good, and we'll, uh, we'll certainly showcase all the great things that you're doing there at, at, at Hella's, and uh, I can't wait. Yeah, and look, Mike, I may never get to do this again, but, but to, to <laughs> properly send you off, Thank you again, and congrats <laughs> on your movie role. <laughs> That's great. Look, Mike, everybody loves you, Mike. Look at that. We love, we love you, brother. Thank you. That was Cheers, awesome. Mike. Love Cheers. you, buddy. Thank you so much, buddy. Cheers. All right, man. Cheers. See you soon. No, 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 Todd. Yamas. 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 <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Right, we'll see you right. soon, buddy. Oh man, what a great time! I tell you what, man, that was fun, man. That was a, Dude, that was a great show. It was really good, and you know, I hope everybody's. I know we have some people that are local that can check out Hellas. You got to support local, especially in times like now. We've got to support our local establishments, breweries, restaurants, everything, because they're hurting. It's not easy in this crazy world we're right in right now. So. No. Please help out Hellas. Check them out. Social media, everything. Um, and again, once he gets the, the shipping going, we'll certainly, hopefully, some of our well, internet. You know, it, it's funny too because Todd, I, I, um, 
my brother just put up there. They also have a great gluten free menu. I mean, they have everything. Yes. They have. Yes. They have yes. This, this. I mean, honestly, in Maryland, they have probably one of the biggest kitchens just dedicated straight to uh, a gluten free kitchen. That's great. I know, Tony. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's, yes. It's, yes. Everything yes. They, everything they do has been top notch. It's been pretty amazing, and and we are. We're lucky to have been able to get hooked up with them. They also have, if you go to their webpage, they have all of our Seller Series videos. You can watch them there, too, which is really cool. They're on their yep. website. Um, and I'm thinking that uh, we need to do a little uh, we need to do a little Seller Series t-shirt that might come. Ooh, first I like first. that. So yes, sir. So can you do an emoji of a mic? I, I can do an emoji of anything. Can you do an emoji of Mike? <laughs> no, I can't. You're the you're you're the gourmet around here, Eddie. You're the gourmet <laughs> real tomato ketchup, Eddie. Hey, Todd, what did you what do you think? I told you I had surprises for you. Did Andy, you like I absolutely – hopefully that, that we have not many people left, but Andy, well done. You had clips from seller series, you had clips for various people. You had a new super chat, which I think went over well. And two new super chats. We that had, was great. That was great. You had the uh, Chris Farley super chat too. So we had we had two of them. Well done. I, I really appreciate Yeah, I think uh, everybody appreciated that. Everybody shout out to Andy. He does a lot of that stuff. So I know I give him a lot of trouble, but great job. Well, look, and, and thank you. But honestly, I'm not abandoning Joe Flacco. I'm going to keep him on there. So if you guys can. That's fine. Part, that's part you know what you should do? You should probably just play that for Evan and Weird Beer Reviews because he likes them so much. I, 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 you know, why not him? No, no, I don't want to do that to Evan. That's, that's, uh, you know. Yeah. M Michael loves them too. He's a huge. Uh, All right. So we're doing, fan. we're doing, <laughs> Micah does love it. <laughs> I see Micah. There he is. Yep. Micah loves, he loves Kansas City barbecue and Joe Flacco <laughs> and bought and Sam Adams beer. <laughs> He's shaking his head. He's yelling at me right now. You guys can't see this, but he's shaking it. <laughs> he's giving milk. He's giving me the one finger salute. <laughs> and, and and he loves. Cheers, Micah. Hi, I'm Toby Keith. I'm Elf. I'm a musician with a very busy schedule. I'm a couch potato. I love down home cooking. I eat lint. <laughs> I can't find my keys. It's C. It's right here. No, my car keys. Oh. I'm trying to get out of here. See that? We got to end with a little bit of Alf. So, you had Alf in the. Where did you have him? In, I have one him in the, I have him in the seller series. That, that was the, yes. the whole thing. Like I just threw, I randomly threw a it's clip. Like Alf. Alf. Yeah. So I mean, and you know, Micah, he does that for you. You know that, right? Okay, good. I'm glad you know that. You know, so yeah, it is. It is what it is. I mean, well, this is fun. So next week is Granddad's. I don't know if I know grand enough. Grand uh, grandparents there are I, I have the research i'm sure i do I just gotta... now, i'm giving you movies and i'm giving you shows you can oh it's it. it's either okay okay yeah yeah all right so you, there is there's enough for you to get through trust me you'll be able to got it you'll be able to google it and then right, Todd, the uh bourbon of the week next week what is it what do you think it might be? i would love to, evidently i mean what the the best bourbon i've ever tasted and it's only been once from scott you know what it is? I'm going to say Angel's Envy finishing the rum cask. Correct. The rye. But that's not, what that's not what we're doing, Todd. Oh, what are we doing? Well, if we're doing grandparents, what, what can you think of that has... Old granddad. Oh, no. Okay. So, I, I actually, this is good because when I... Okay. The 12 people that are still with us, the very first... And I don't think we showed this beer review, did we? we did, or whiskey review. We didn't do it, uh, did we? No, it's on a live stream. We we have it. So no. we actually no. I'm try, I I bet you I can find it. There's a clip. It's the first time I think you have tried really. Uh, I thought it was part of what we're doing, glams and drams. I mm -mm. thought that's what it was part of. It wasn't. Mm -mm. I thought it was. It was on a live stream. Oh, I, yeah, did I like it? I don't think I liked it, did I? No, you hated it, and so. But my but, palate was just getting started in, in whiskey. I have a much and different actually, palate. When you reviewed, and I'm trying to think of what it was, uh, some of the whiskeys that we went back to, I described one of the whiskeys as Red Hot, so you're like, that's it. It's yeah. Red Hot. Like, you were yeah. like, that's it. Yeah. And I am telling you, if you want Red Hots with a little bit of like, just kind of like, it? Oak, I like that. It's a, hey, it's a, it's, a really, it's a really good pour. What's the so, proof on it? One, it? It's called Old GD 114 for a reason. It's 114 proof. But it's not barrel proof, though. Well, that's that's that can be barrel proof, yeah. That's, well, that's no, but wouldn't barrel proof like one twenty eight or something like no, that? No, barrel proof can be a little bit lower than that. Oh, okay. uh, but but yeah, it's it's, it's one fourteen, so it's it's all right. 
I'm off work. It's rock solid, man. But that's what we're gonna do. So grandparents and OGD next week is gonna be fun. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Well, thank you to everybody that came on tonight. Uh Tony, uh Micah from Finish the Glass. Again, Mondays at 9 30 Eastern, 8 30 Central. You know, check them out on on, on live streams. Ocean's World. Thank you for the super chat. Dicky Dad, Dicky, I'm sending you a package out once I get those out of orders from RAR. Hopefully next week. So but it was it was awesome. So um Good job, man. Good job, buddy. We'll see you guys on next. Andy, we have a couple. We have a couple of videos this week coming out on our main page. We do. Right? We do. We stay tuned because there's yep. more good edited stuff coming from two ten. And hey, members only. I got a couple of videos coming for you too. Chill out. I got come more. members only. If you're not a member, man, you're missing out. Yeah, you are. I'm just telling you. It's. it's I love it. I you love get it. Tw- you get twenty four seven, Todd. How can you not like that? So that, Mike is shaking his head. He likes it. He likes it. It's all good, man. It's you all saw- good. Anyway, I lo- hey, cheers, buddy. It's a fun time as always. All right, my man. Uh, till next Let's week. Head- over to Monica's. Monica Tiamoni's Arts. Please, everybody go check that her out, and we'll see you guys there. Cheers, buddy. All right, man. We're live again. What's going on, everybody? It's Tuesday.